microphones are on and I think we are live. Uh, good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, wherever you are. Ben's joining me today. I'm going to be doing a solo playthrough of Frostpunk. A uh, few things just to get out of the way before we start. Um, many of you know that I was professionally involved in this game. I wrote the rule book for it and I have done a sponsored tutorial and playthrough video. Uh, this one is not sponsored. This one is voted on by Patreon supporters. So I did a poll a couple of weeks ago of which solo games my Patreon supporters wanted to see on the channel. This one got the most votes. Well, it was either this one or Hopla Marcus Victorum got the most votes. But they were the top two games chosen. So we're doing this one today and next Friday I'm going to be doing Hopla Marcus Victorum. Okay. So this is not a sponsored video. Uh, so a big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters for uh, voting on this and for supporting the channel. If you like the content that I create and you want to support the channel and help me carry on making more videos like this, patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. Right, the other thing is, we're going to be playing the base game scenario today. Now, there was a discussion about whether I should do a different scenario, uh, because I did cover the base game scenario in my previous playthrough, uh, and a lot of the other videos out there at the moment are for the base game. But I posted on the Frostbunk uh, Facebook group, and most people said they wanted to see the base scenario. Plus, Ben's not played before. Nope. Now, you didn't back this game. No. But no. Yep. you have now pre-ordered it. I have ordered it, yeah. Because <laughs> you're a big solo player, aren't you? And yeah, this is definitely. effectively a, a solo <clears throat> game. Have you played the computer game at all? Uh, no, I'm yeah. aware of it, but I've not. I've, okay, I'm, not, I'm aware of you know the, the the setting and what you're trying to do, but I'm not. I haven't. Played what it. was it then that made you get this? You like dying horribly. Quite a few people. <laughs> quite a few people said, like yourself, it's a great. It's a solo game, and then yeah. I saw it at Gridcon. Yep. Um, unfortunately, I, w I was down to play it, but was tied up in the game that I was playing, so I didn't make it. But then walked over and looked at it. And you said you'll love it because it's solo. Yeah. And a couple of other people just went, "Wow." Yeah. And yeah, just saw all that, and just, it just I mean, it, looks it, like my thing. It looks impressive. Yeah. But there are lots of games out there that come out that look impressive, but are not very good games. Uh, this one is my number one game of the year. So, in my opinion, <laughs> this is a great game. It's um, not too cluttered for me. You no. can look at it, and it kind of makes sense. Some games you just what, yeah you just yeah, get yeah put off straight there's away. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of boards with a lot of stuff. Yeah. If you're watching this video to learn how to play. <clears throat> You're not going to get that. I have done a tutorial and playthrough video. So in that video, I go through all of the rules and we teach you as we go. Today, it's going to be focused mainly on uh, mainly on the playthrough. Can we have a little more volume on Ben? We can't. I'll speak up. I can move the microphone more towards him. We're both using the same microphone. Um, it's just that I talk loud. So if I talk quieter, I'll turn the microphone up. And then I'll, I'll just talk quieter. I'll, I'll, I'll <coughs> not project. There we go. Right. So we've done the setup, we've done the random setup, we've got infinite supply of wood up there, infinite supply of wood here, infinite supply of coal here. The four technologies that have been randomly chosen for this game are wood processing, which gives us a bonus when we use sawmills, uh, the lighter scout sleds, which gives us a bonus when we deploy scouts, generator safety system, which... What does that do? If there are two or fewer stress cubes on the track... Okay, it's, it's good for the generator. Uh, and what tracking techniques? Weather phase gain one food for each map tile depicting a food bonus. Okay, so that's going to give us extra food for each of these. Now, these are the technologies that we can develop during the game. We don't have any of them yet. And when we build the workshop, that's when we choose which technology to, to start working on. We've also got the eight standard laws, and we've got four extra ones. So the four extra ones that were chosen at random last night by Adrian because we did most of the setup last night, are extended shift. So if we want to, we can enact a law uh, to basically make people work harder. To use this, I'm not keen on this one. It's a great one in the computer game, because basically people work longer. But in this game, once per round, you may exhaust motivation to reuse a building. So you're still having to exhaust a token to use it. Fighting arena is really good. Uh, it's a special building that we can build, and it basically reduces discontent. When we when we build it, because people have got a way of taking out their anger yeah, on by, each other by punching each other. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you can use the fighting arena. Do you want to just pass us the fighting arena tile, uh, just like the off camera? Can you use it? Yeah. So you can use it to reduce <laughs> discontent as well. Right. So even introducing the law reduces discontent, and as a building, you can use it to reduce discontent. Ongoing effect. Time to rest is another one that we can enact. Uh, once per round you may exhaust, well, first of all, it increases hope when we enact it. And once per round you can exhaust justice and place a spent worker. Okay, so basically we can say to somebody, have the day off. 
Um, and if we do that, we get bonuses. Right. And starvation rations, which increases apathy. I said that was apathy, didn't I? Yeah, I think I'm wrong on that so. one. I don't think that's apathy. I think the dots are apathy. That's anger. Oh, you know why it confused me? Because it's that way around. Oh, there you okay. go. Right. <laughs> so that's anger. People are very angry. Uh, so if we enact starvation rations, um, then it increases apathy. And it, when we feed our citizens, we spend one food fewer for each citizen meeple type of the current rounds type. OK, so we pay less food if we enact that. So that's the variable setup of those. That's the variable setup of those. Um, we've drawn seven citizen cards. So we are playing the solo game today, even though there's two of us. So we've got seven citizen cards and we have to choose which one of those seven we want to discard at the start of the game, which means we won't get to use its ability and we have to pay the starting cost that's in the top right. Oh, OK. What, so, to discard it? In order to discard it, yeah. <coughs> it's basically like a variable <coughs> setup where we lose something. Is that deliberately? That is deliberately, right. yeah. Paul, got Pauline Paul. Grogan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I don't really know. I've not played before. No. Gaining sick workers at the beginning, I guess, is bad. They're all bad. Yeah. All of the, all of the starting ones are bad. Remove one wood from the map. Spend a coal. We could remove one wood from the map. I'm 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 okay with that because there's a space here, okay. with one wood on it. The others look worse if you see. What yeah. I mean. That's so get rid of, get rid of that one. Right. Okay. So Is that on the bottom. Uh, no, it's it's Just it says on. discard on a face up discard pile, but I don't think you ever look at it again. Oh. So we'll take it up and we'll get rid of that wood. You've got all the resources over there. Good luck. Um, and I think that's it. I think that is the setup done and ready. So this scenario, again, base game, uh, base game scenario. Civilization has fallen. We, the survivors, travelled in a convoy that split into several groups to increase the chances of reaching a functional generator. Our group succeeded. What fate has befallen the others? Lighting up a signal to guide the lost souls will help to answer that question. So essentially, we have a scenario trigger token on round four. If at the start of round four. We've built the beacon, we go to A, which is good. Yep. If we don't build the beacon by round four, it's bad. Yep. And we carry on playing, but basically the people get angrier and angrier until we build the beacon. It's hard, right. Um, and then there's a scenario trigger token on round 11 as well. Oh. But our main objective is to build the beacon by round four. And but what's, what's the requirement to build the beacon? Beacon is that building there, so it's three wood. Right, okay. I've got my pointy stick. <clears throat> yeah, so the cost oh, yeah. to build is there, Take so it's three wood. Now... We start off the game with uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 meeples mm -hmm. and currently nowhere for people to sleep. So I if we don't bit. build any shelters Ten in round one, yep. loads of people are going to get sick. So, yeah, that's the um, that's also another main objective for round one is to is to build shelters. Now, the tricky decision point with this game, and I'm keen to know for those people that have played this game and even won the game, um, is whether you build tents, because there's three types of shelters. There's tents which cost two wood, bunk houses that cost three, and houses that cost four. When the storm hits, and we have a storm coming, which is this marker, in scenario one, when the first storm hits, all tents are destroyed. Yep. So if we were to spend wood on building tents, when the first storm hits, they're gone. We don't get any wood back from them or anything. And in fact, you can't upgrade them like you can in the computer game. So if we build tents, we have to then dismantle them to build bunk houses, and you don't get any wood back. So for me, as a as a resource management Euro game player, I'm thinking, why waste money on buying ten? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> when you've then got to when they're going to go anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm keen to I'm keen to know what what people think. You can't recycle anything. Nope. on it either. So it seems yeah, it shouldn't work itself at pointless. nine in the first scenario. It should. Thank you very much. It's not twelve. It's nine. Because uh, it says that in the scenario book. Yeah. Thank you very much. Got that. Uh, if you're watching this back afterwards, if you're watching this live and you spot us making any mistake, please let us know in the chat. Um, if you're watching this back afterwards, I would recommend you turn on the Klingon subtitles. Go to the subtitles channel, turn the Klingon subtitles on, because if we do make any mistakes that are not picked up live, I will go back and I will add uh, some Klingon subtitles later. Right, so the game starts off in the action phase. We've basically got five workers, yep. three engineers, yep. two children. We can't use the children. Because child labour has not been enacted. So what can they do? And they can't do anything. That point, no. they, they cannot do anything until child labour has been enacted. I've enacted child labour in my last three games and it's always worked out badly. Yeah. So I'm tempted 
to not do that. Good, because I was going to discuss that with you and, yep. and say, should we try... Try the other thing. Yeah. So we could enact a law, and we could enact the law to introduce child shelter. Now, when we do that, hope goes up, and we can unlock the child shelter building, and we can build it immediately if we have two wood. Now, the child shelter building will provide sleeping quarters for up to four kids. Yep. So that's, that saves basically us building a tent. And that's not going to get dismantled by the storm? No. Right. No. So that would be my first thing that I think we should do. So okay. in order to do that, that we go we go here to enact a law. Yep. But when we enact this law, we get to build a child shelter for, not for free, but without using a build action. But we have to have the two wood. Yep. Okay. Yeah, children can be used with the citizen card. So yeah, we've got our citizen cards. We need to remember we've got these and we can use these. So once per round, we can use a citizen card. Um, and the children cards will allow us to use the child meeples. So we could use this card, form this action in an occupied space to gain food equal to the food bonus and all adjacent tiles. Okay, so that's quite good. We could use it there to get two food, but we might get more tiles. Activate care or motivation, no use for that. Remove up to eight stress cubes from the stress track, that'd be good later. Spend four food, draw a hope token and activate it or discard. That's quite good. What's you? That's yeah, that's me. Yeah. If we use a if we use the cookhouse. So if we use a cookhouse with an engineer, we spend four food. It's basically a better version of the cookhouse. Mm -hmm. Uh Dave Taddell is for when we deploy scouts. Uh Paolo Feldman. An occupied space that has one or more trees. Oh, that allows us to cut down a tree without needing a sawmill. So yeah, so we'll keep. We'll, we got the we got the citizen there. <coughs> We've also got the call to rise card because we're playing so low. Right. And we got the health advisor that we picked up. We got the health advisor that we we we've, we've chosen to pick. So anyway, actions. Gathering resource. Gathering at least two resources. Like gathering two wood. Oh, no, we've got wood. Got four. We've got four wood to start with. So we can do it. Now, where's it going to go? Where's the child shelter going to go? It's orange, so we could build it here. Yep. Because we've got an empty space here. Um, and the fact that it's orange means that certainly at the start of the game it's going to be heated. But later in the game it might not be. Because these are available spaces as well. These are automatically red, aren't they? Uh, well, no. They're automatically heated. They're automatically they? that. Yeah. Because there's no fuel in the generator at all, so nothing is is heated at the moment. But is it better later on to have it nearer to the? Later on, yes. Yeah. Okay. This is not a space, and we can't move it. You can't move it once it's been built. Um, I mean, I'm tempted to build the yellow buildings near us, and the orange ones a bit further away. But okay, so should we do that first? Okay. So we need to send an engineer to the platform. So that's an engineer building only uh, and we enact a law and we are going to enact child shelter that way so we can put the laws that way so straight away we increase hope so we can either activate a hope token which we can't because they're both active or we get another one brilliant what are those two at the moment care care and, and motivation right right and we've got some more care but it's inactive. Okay. Right, that's that. Children will be safer if they stay in child shelters during the day uh, and they won't cause any mischief. So we unlock the child shelter building, so that goes there. Um, and when the law is introduced, you may immediately build it. So if we spend two wood, yep. Done. then we build it. And we're gonna go here, aren't we? I think go there. Now, I need to get the child shelter building from the miniatures pack. About to see where they want. <laughs> Which I've not painted yet. So I've painted some of these miniatures. Which one is the child shelter? Does that mean we don't get these meeples or they just sit here all the way? For the they room? just sit there. We have to feed them. We have to provide homes for them at night. Is it that one? No, it's the care house. Cemetery. I've got to know what a lot of these are. Someone said you technically heated the tile before. The tile. Yes, we haven't, we haven't done that yet. Right. Um, Yeah, so we sh we should have spent one coal because using a building is either hot or cold. Right. Uh, so we needed to spend one coal so that's gone. to heat it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Where is it? Does it look like a long? 
Oh, yeah, the thing is that doesn't have names on. <laughs> long it's long. none of those. Is it that one? Public house. It, yeah, looks, it public. looks long. There the arcs. I'm assuming it's quite small. The children are it's not small. that one. The ventilation plant. That's the fighting arena. Oh, is it that one? Child shelter. There we go. Oh, it's just on the bottom. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so they go on so that they cover the picture, but you still see the effect of that. Right, okay, first action has been taken. We've built the child shelter. We have a law. And that's that done. Right, what are we going to do next? So, <clears throat> remind me how much food we're going to need at the end of this round. At the end of this round, it is the kids that are going to eat this round. Okay. And we have eight. eight of them. So we need eight food. So we need eight food, which we've got. We've got ten. Next round, we're going to need 12. Okay. And then the round after that, we're going to need 22. 22. So building hunter's huts is always a thing I like to do, Yeah. but also gathering posts, exploring. So exploring here might be a good place for a gathering post. Because okay. when you use a gathering post, you, you get everything. everything from around it. Um, and are we, um, at some point, at are some we going to yeah. highlight one of these to go to? I think to? so. Yeah. And I didn't get, on the. I only watched the Steam core. So steam cores are needed for constructing that and right, that the really good stuff yeah okay. uh upgrading buildings but also building automatons which i've never done in the board game I do it all the time in the computer game never done it in the board game i'm tempted so we got seven goes basically is that uh, the right way you're looking at yeah it? okay i'm tempted to do some removing of snow and see what we get mm -hmm. okay you know this space looks good, yeah as you said so if we send a worker to the remove snow action which is that one yeah and we can have two near tiles or one far tile i think we have that one okay where do you want to put the other one uh where's the, well the other steam cores here and then you've got this and this this might also be another good place for a gathering post yep or there might also be a good place depending on is that what good comes if you've got out. a cookhouse there or not um okay we'll go there so replace them, we then reveal them. Ooh, we got one steam core. So there. one steam core here. Good. Two trees. Two trees here, and we've found five food. Oh, bargain. Yeah, so the food bonus is there. There we go. Nice. What was that card that said about Yeah, food so there was well? um there was a citizen card. A child citizen card, if we use the gather resources action, perform this action on an unoccupied space on a tile. To gain food equal to the food bonus on that tile and all adjacent tiles. Oh, not so quite. we could use if this space was empty. Yeah. We could use it there to gather four food. Or possibly if we can get another yeah. one round here. Yeah. It's got food on it as well. Or if we get another food, food. bonus there. Okay. So that's not bad. No, nope. good. Now, if we are going to construct buildings this turn, when we choose the construct action, we get to do three constructions. All right. So we're going to need lots of lots of wood we need yeah um and i think a gathering post here makes sense because then it gathers from all of those things and like this one we can build here because this is now empty yeah so there's you two spaces on each hex yeah, okay uh, you can build where there is resources sorry i'm gonna okay um I'm vibrate but you you lose the resources and you can build where there's trees as well but you, you lose the trees i know but a chop down tree thing here as well wouldn't there but if they, we've got a sword. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the two, card. yeah. What is that? Uh, but I think it was only chopped down one tree, wasn't it? Let's see. Oh, uh, the remove snow action, the worker gets sick. So remove snow is always cold. So the brown oh, marker, the orangey marker there goes to one. Yeah. Not upside down. Yeah. Uh, that is upside down, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. So shrink, shrink side up. I obviously put them wrong way up right okay so we need to gather resources so we should yeah we need to gather resources so worker yeah i think we're gonna waste an engineer do we um so there's five wood here yeah so if we just put it on there now that is hot that is heated and they get two wood yeah and two wood which goes into the supply All right that's that what how much is this um gathering post what's that cost uh one so a gathering post costs one, tents cost two. You were talking about bunkhouse. Hunter's house. hut 
costs one as well. But you said we can build three things. We can build three things. So, so right now, we could do a construct action. We yeah. could build a gathering post, a hunter's hut, and a tent. We could. Can we do more than one build action? Yeah. Right. And then we can use the gathering post <clears throat> to collect more resources and then possibly do another build to build more stuff. Okay. Are we going to go down the lines of... Yeah, because that's talk... saying one more explore before the gathering post. That's what I was thinking about, because if we explore one of these two, then you when we use the gathering post, we're going to get that as well. Okay. So I, I, I was tempted for that. Sounds good to me. So if we send another worker exploring, so that's another worker that gets sick. <laughs> one more, and we'll have a far tile... And we'll have it here. Oh, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Another it's core. another steam core. Wow, that's four steam cores on the map. What's the bottom one? Uh, coal. So two coal. Uh, James is asking, is there a goal to the scenario? What's interesting is this is one of the few games where at the start of the scenario, there isn't an actual... End goal. No, you don't know. Right. Uh, all you know is... That by round four we've got to build the beacon, um, but basically there's a storm coming. We've got to survive the first storm. The second storm is worse. We've got to gather supplies for the second storm, and if we survive through the second storm, then you win the game. Yeah. So automaton says Gustav. Yeah, an early automaton. We've got so many steam cores. We could gather them, um, and we could go with the factory, which only costs two wood. And then use the factory to start building automatons. And what does the, what do it basically uses do? a building without you having to spend? It's it's like a worker that you don't need to feed, right? Home or anything else, but you need to spend coal to use them. And I've not used them in the board game, so I will have to look them up when we get them. Okay. Um, but we're going for construction. Yeah. So gathering post. So what we need to do is put a worker on here. <clears throat> the construction action is always heated. Uh, and then we can build up to three buildings. Gathering post would be one. Yep. Hunter's hut would Use, be one. So hunter's hut. Because that's going to provide us a regular source of food. food. And a tent. So that we've got somewhere for people to sleep. And you were saying earlier on about the advantage of... Oh, yeah. Again, I, I was thinking of doing something different and going for the tents. Oh, also, right. You didn't do tents last time. No, I skipped houses, tents and went straight to bunkhouses. Okay. So let's try that. So one of those. Uh, hunter's hut. Yeah, these have been painted. Other and post. So I'll zoom in on these once we've. Um, so that's been painted. That's been painted, and that's been painted. So gathering post is going there. Tent we need to keep in the warm, don't we? Yeah, definitely. Okay. And the hunter's hut. Hunter's hut is interesting. So yeah, it's yeah, it's it's yellow. Yeah. But the food that it provides passively, so it could actually go anywhere. If we use the building, we kind of want it close to us. What's what's the upgrade cost? The same again, just one more. Uh, it's yeah, so it's a wood, a wood, steam core, two steam cores, two steam cores to upgrade it. Right. And then it gives us five. So yeah, if we upgrade it, it becomes a red building. What's the stacks for? That's the uh, food generation. Right. So I'm thinking there. Okay. Right, that is that. So since I. Since I've spent the last few weeks painting these buildings, let's have let's have a look at them, see what they look like. So we've got there we go. Um, yeah, so there's the hunters up. The gathering post I was particularly happy with. Let's see how um, we can put the tent over here and get them all in. Yeah, so there's the tent. There's the gathering post, um, and there's the hunters up. And the cookhouse is is hidden behind the generator. You can't you can't see. You can't see the cookhouse, but the cookhouse is my favourite building that I've painted. Um, yeah, that's the cookhouse. So that, that came out quite well. Anyway, painted buildings look nice. So we got a tent, we got a gathering post. We got a hunter's hut. Okay. Nice. Right. So okay. How do we activate the gathering post? We use the building. So we, we send a worker or an engineer to the building. We put them on the building and we use them. What's the advantage or disadvantage of using either? None. None? Uh, engineers are better, so engineers are needed for certain buildings. But oh, are we likely to need an engineer at the for moment, something else? The only ones that need an engineer yep. are the platform and the generator. So, no, we don't need one. Right. It goes on here. Yep, so that goes on there. Now, that is currently cold. 
because it's not red and it's not on the generator tile. So did we want to heat it first? Yes, yeah, you spend another coal. Right, now everything that's orange or in this ring is now heated. Okay. So with the gathering post, we can gather, I believe, it is one resource from every adjacent space. Take one resource from each adjacent space and place them in the supply. Now, I'm just thinking, before we do that, yeah. did we want to explore again? Do we need to we need to gather some coal at some point, don't we? Because then that's getting the maximum yeah. benefit. I think explore once more. Okay. We'll just rewind slightly. Well, same same difference. Yeah. So pop that on that one. Mm -hmm. So he gets sick. Oh. And oh. let's have another fart out. It is. Oh. Oh. So good oh, and bad. Of food. It's two two wood. It's an empty space, but there's five food there. That means our card that allows us to gather food from here. If we did it here, it would be nine food. Brilliant. See, that's that's amazing. It's just and these are just one off discarded. They're one off, yeah. yeah. Right. And then we send an engineer to the gathering post, yep. which is heated because we've already spent the coal. Yep. And then we get one resource from each adjacent space. We've got to go that. So one. there. Oh I see. Uh there. We've got to go that. There. Yep. Yeah. Go on. That one. There. And there. So it's every adjacent space. And you we picked up a steam Did coal. we get the coal from there? We did. Yep. We got the coal from there. Did we get the steam core as well? Is it every it's space or every it's every space uh yeah adjacent spaces oh, wow. there's a there's an image in the book i remember doing it <laughs> that tells you so it's each space on each adjacent hex uh including itself yeah wow that's a lot so we've got two steam calls don't normally get steam calls this early <clears throat> right we have one engineer left what are our options? We can go and gather stuff. We can go gather. We could build again. Building again sounds good for tents and I stuff. I think so. Yeah. We're only, we're only going to get to build two things, but I think that's probably a good idea. Well, that's two. Can we do that and then upgrade something? No. Upgrading, you need the workshop ah. to do an upgrade. Oh, well, in that case, should we build a tent and the workshop? Because that's two and one. That's not a bad idea, because then we start a technology as well. Whenever we build the workshop, the first time we build the workshop, we start developing a technology. Yeah, sure. Okay. So we place the engineer here. We spend three wood. We get another tent. So not quite painted. That's not a space. We can't use that. Oh. Use this. Right. We can't use that. And where are we going to put the workshop? But it's red. So we can pop it in. Oh, of course it is. So what what's this iconography mean? So uh, the workshop, two things. You can either use it. Well, when you use the workshop, you get two workshop sub-actions. Mm -hmm. Each workshop sub-action can either work faster on the technology that you're currently developing or upgrade a building. Fab. So I'm going to pop the workshop there. And you said we get to auto-use it now because we've built So we don't get to auto-use it, but oh. we get to start working on one. So we right. choose which one of these we want to develop. Okay. And we put the token on the thing. So which one of these do we want? Uh, weather phase gain one food for each map tile depicting a food that bonus. That is awesome because we've got four map tiles depicting a food bonus. So I think, yeah, so we start developing that. So what we do is we take that off. It's number five. Okay. So that goes on number six. Yeah. So in five rounds time, we'll get that. Right. That seems like a good first round. Although it always seems like a good first round. Have we done all of the heating stuff correct? I think we have. So the actions that we did that needed to be heated were that one, that one, and that was it. And yep. we got three sick workers because we oh, did we three, did the thing. Three wood king. Right, okay, we're done with the action phase. Dusk phase. <clears throat> the other thing we needed to do before we start is there are ten social dispute cards there. Okay. They've been shuffled. Yep. But the one on the top, you need to have a look at that yep. because that's the one that is going to be added to the deck at the start of the game. Right. Um, so if you just want to have a look through that argument card and have a read through it, so that because that's going to come out at some point. Do you want me to read it out? Yeah. Discussion is an exchange of knowledge, an argument, an exchange of ignorance. If you have no active discontent. Oh, hang on, we got a rules mistake. The law consequences from the child shelter. Oh yes, thank you, thank you. Go on, keep reading. Okay. <laughs> uh, if you have no active discontent, choose one. 
minus one discontent, place one near or far tile, or perform two workshop effects. Well, that's good because we've got the workshop. Otherwise, for each type of active discontent you have, perform the following, sorry, perform the corresponding effect. Greed, gain three hunger. Apathy, place one spent worker. Anger, gain two sick citizens. So okay. What do we have? Well, that's when it comes out. Okay. At the moment, we have anger. Right. So we could gain some sick. If you have no active discontent. So we want, ideally, we want no active discontent. Yeah. But if we do have active discontent, when that card comes out, we do some stuff. Okay. okay. okay so that card, that top card, gets shuffled into there. Yep. But I can see the one underneath now. Yeah, that's the inevitable. No, this one, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so that gets shuffled in. And, as I forgot in the last time we played it, and I forgot again, every time you introduce a law, you get the law consequences. Well. So one of those is going in as well. These are both good, I think, because they are the consequence of that. So that gets shuffled into there. Thank you very much for that. So we now reveal and resolve a Dusk card. One, so one of those three is now going to come out. One, two, or three. One, two, or three in the chat. Let us know. And we'll wait five seconds. <laughs> one, two, three. First number that appears. Thing is, you'll get one number appear, and then there'll be loads of others. <laughs> two. Thank you, Danny. If we die, it's Danny's fault. And just flip it and read it. Flip it and read it. It's the, the inevitable. inevitable. Every day we fight a bitter struggle against hunger, cold, and disease. There will be losses. Flip every sickness marker on its skull side to its syringe side. None. None. For each corpse you have, gain one sick citizen. We have a corpse. We have one corpse, so we gain one sick citizen of our choice. Okay. I'm thinking engineer. And these are affected by the by the category. Yeah. There, aren't, aren't they? So. <coughs> oh, yeah. That's kid. Yeah, that's what I just went. Oh, there we go. Back. Right, now, that card goes to the discard pile. Here? So the inevitable card will constantly keep coming out as the game goes on. Right. It goes there for now. Okay. It's when the social dispute card comes out that we then reshuffle the discards back into the back into the deck. And then how do we get this? When does this one come across? Uh, when the social dispute card comes out. Uh, Gustav said, it's not your choice, it's always the type of the current round. Ooh, let me just check that. I, I thought, I remember reading somewhere... Because I wrote it. It was a long time ago. Um, let me just double check that. Yeah, I thought if it didn't say, you could choose. Important rules. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, citizens. If the type of citizen you gain or lose is not specified, you may choose the type. So yeah, you can. Oh, thank you very much, Matouche, for the, um, for the super chat. Um, yeah, page 16 of the rule book. If the type of citizen or sick citizen you gain or lose is not specified, you may choose the type of those citizens. There is something, though, that does do it depending on the current round. I can't remember exactly what that is, but no, if it doesn't specify a citizen, you can choose. Uh, right. Okay, yeah, only when citizens die of hunger, it's based on the current round. Thank you, Daniel. Right, okay. I knew there was something. So we revealed and resolved the Dusk card. Yep. Hunger phase. If we had any hungry people from yesterday, yes. we now have to sort them out. Yep. We haven't. Then the hunger marker goes back to zero. Now we feed citizens. It is kids. So we need eight food. We got loads. We got loads of food. That's it. Right. Night phase. So citizens come home. Mm -hmm. So pop, pop them all on the board. They all come back. They all come back. Yep. Uh, except any that were on expeditions. Yep. And then we have to decide... And this one? Sorry, on that one. Yep. <laughs> uh, and then we have to decide which ones have got homes. So what the rules say is that you stand the meeples up and lay them down when they've got a shelter. I just move them off the board. Well, the children have. So, we know so we've got four places for the kids. Yep. And we've got four places for other people. So... Should we go 3-1 I... so it's proportional or 2-2? Two, two? I think based on the number of... I don't think we want more than one more sick worker. So I think I think four workers. Right. Yeah. Oh, I see, because that's going to go into the next. Yeah. yeah okay. I mean, we need to start fixing them. So we do that. So those get sick. These are sick. So three engineers and one worker. Oh, four all then. Right. Okay. Uh, that's that. That's the night phase done. Okay. So round two, the dawn phase. Pass the leadership marker if we were playing multiplayer game. Move the round marker. Uh, resolve development and scenario trigger tokens. Nope. Right. Morning phase. So we reveal 
a morning card. So if somebody in the chat wants to choose a number between one and ninety, no, kidding. Just yeah. right. Okay. Good morning. Fight for offal. There's been a spill in the cookhouse. Someone tumbled over a large pot of food. People immediately started to fight over it, fearing they might be deprived of their fill. Activate greed. Now, luckily, we don't have greed, so we ignore that Excellent. effect. Um, Augustine says, for the inevitable, is it one sick citizen per death caused by the actual card or per cumulative effect? It just says for every corpse token. It doesn't say for every corpse token. For each corpse you have. Yeah, for each corpse you have. So it is based on the cumulative total. Um, so we have three options. We can either set up guards at the kitchen to restore order, but we can only do that if we exhaust justice. We, got justice. we haven't got justice, no, okay. so we can't do that. If no. we did, sorted. No. Option two, there's no need to panic. We'll feed all. Uh, we can do this only if we spend six food. Now, we do have six food, okay. or we could increase hunger by six. If we do that, we gain one hope, and we get rid of the card. So cool. that's quite good. Yep. Option three, accidents happen. No reason to cry over spilt gruel. Add card D34 to the Dusk deck. I'm tempted to go with option two because we got all of that food. Yep, okay. You okay with that? Mm -hmm. So we spend six food, we gain a hope, and that card is gone. So whenever we gain hope, we can either activate that or draw a new one. Draw a new one. Well, we've already got a care. We've, we've already got care. It, so. so let's see if we can get justice. How many different? It is justice. There's three different types, three different and there's three of each. Is that active or inactive? Sorry, that is inactive. Uh, is that way around, is it? How do we activate it? Just Anytime you gain hope, you can either activate an existing one, yes, or draw a new one. Yeah. Anyway, that's the morning done. Generator phase. So, uh, this is our last chance to fuel the generator, and this is a slightly quirky thing in the rules. Is this is representing what happened yesterday? But we are going to gain six citizens for each icon between them so if we don't spend a coal now yeah we gain a sick worker yes it's just whether it's worth spending the coal now i think it probably is because we're about to yeah into so if we spend the coal that moves out to there right coal cubes ah now i need the coal cubes where have i put them are they in the box they might be in the box <laughs> yeah they're in the box so we're now going to drop three coal cubes into the generator. Wow. Oh, gain six citizens based on the heat and cold markers. Done that. Yeah. Drop coal. Right, yeah. So it's three coal in. Okay. Go on. Definitely one came out at least. Two came out. Two came out. Well, that goes there. Stress on the generator. I'll drop them in more gently. Next. There is one. Well, most of them do come out. Oh. Okay. Until you've upgraded the generator. Which we can do at some point later on. Right. Don't need that. That can go. Um, so we've done that. Drop coal from the bank. Yeah. Place any cubes onto the stress track. Check for generator breakdown. No. Right. Weather phase. So the first weather card means all of these move one. So that moves one. That moves one. That moves one. That moves one. Uh, oh, I should have put that down. Then we gain one food for each hunter's hut icon on the board. We've got one icon, one, isn't it? So we yeah. get one food. Mm -hmm. uh, we get three movement points for our scouts, and the storm marker does not move. Okay, I don't know anything about scouts. I didn't see that. Nope, that's when we go on an expedition. Oh, we, yeah, we're not, yeah. we've not done it yet. Right? No. Okay. But that's when they move. Right. Done. Preparation phase. We choose an advisor. So our advisor is the health advisor. If we wanted to, we could exhaust that care token oh, yeah. to cure two. I'm tempted to do that. Okay. Are because thinking, we need to keep the six citizens under, under control. Are you thinking one of each or two? I'm one thinking one of each. Like... Just to try and keep the sickness down a little bit. And this just goes? No, no, no. We can use it every round. Oh, right, okay. We are a health advisor. And as we have two cares as well. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 let's do, do that, it. Yeah. So, we exhaust care. And we cure two. We've also got this call to rice. So once per game we can draw extra citizen cards. I'm tempted to try and get this to six. <laughs> if we used it now, we'd get three citizen cards. Okay. But if we can try and get that to six tokens, yeah. The social dispute card, Gustav, is 
purely based on discontent tokens. So the number of hope tokens we have is irrelevant for that for that one. Yeah, that's that's quite a good one for for that space there. It allows us to use the kid, and we're going to gain nine food. That activates care again. Oh, okay. That's the food one. I'm just looking through, so we've got. An and we could use the food. care house. So we could this turn. Care house. Yeah, the care house that's hiding behind here. Cook house. Cook house. <laughs> care house is a different building. Um, so we could gather the food and we could spend the food at the cookhouse to get get us another hope. Okay. And then if we can get another hope somehow, we'll have six hope and then we can use the call to rise next turn and we gain four new yeah, citizen works. cards. That's so we could do that. Spend four food, draw one hope token. And activate it. And activate it. That's all. Discard an oh, discard an active discontent token. Literally gone. It's gone. <sighs> That's really good. Um this deploy, deploy scouts get word and this is for a move a tree yeah and gain two right we now need to resolve the sickness markers but thankfully we don't have enough sick people so now we go to the action phase check the number of meeples is correct which it is they come back because we haven't gained any things um, leave the children there because not really doing a lot apart from crowding up the board so right three six eight eight possible so I think we want to use the gathering post again, because again, we've got lots of resources available to us and that clears up lots of spaces. So I think that's probably a good opening move. Now, right now, where is that? That's here. So we're going to need three coal. Otherwise it's going to be cold. Do we want to come over here first then? Well, we've only got one coal. Yeah, so that, that no, one coal is not going to do anything. I meant we want to go and get two coal from here first. So well, we'll get we'll get two coal by gathering from here. What I'm saying is, at the moment, we've only got one coal. That one coal is not going to heat the generator enough to make anything heated. No, what? I, um, I don't. If I've got yep. this wrong, so if we go and get two coal from here, that's cold. That's a cold oh, action. Oh, okay. I thought because it was next to this. No, right. Well. That that is the generator tile. Got you. So until we put, if we put one coal in, yep. nothing happens. If we put two coal in, yep. but we haven't got two coal. So we've got no way of heating it. On the we, no, our first right. gather action is, is going to be cold. So I think just cold. use the gathering post. Right. Worker gets sick and we get I'm glad we that one, one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Wow. Now that gathering post is of no use now. You can't dismantle it? We can dismantle it, but you don't get anything back. Oh. But at the moment, it, it's taking up space. Fine. Okay, so we need... And the worker got sick, Yep. and that's our first action done. But now we've got coal. Yep. So now we can use that coal. Well, um, what are our slightly long-term goals? Are we going to go for this automaton tactic? I mean, we, we have two steam cores. I think we need more wood this turn. Yeah. So that we can build more shelters. Um, how do we use these cards? Yeah, so we could, right now we could use... Do that one. Well, we can only use one of these per round. Okay. So if we want to use that one, yeah, we can gain oh, nine food. Nine food. And that's never going to get any better. No. And, that, and we use the child, do we, for that? Yeah. Right. What's the alternative? Activate care. We don't want that one yet. Don't think we'd want to do that. That's clearing trees. The other option is that we use the engineer on the care house to get rid of that anger. Pauline. Hmm. Or we could use that to draw a hope and activate it. Or discard discontent. Hmm. I'm just thinking because of that social dispute card that's in the deck, if uh, we can get rid okay. of that discontent. Yep. Yeah. Then when that social dispute card comes out, if there's no discontent, we get a bonus. Sounds like a no-brainer to me. And getting rid of discontent is normally quite hard to do. We could enact the fighting arena law, but that would deactivate it. It wouldn't remove it. But that's to be okay. Hmm. Yeah. So many options. Uh, the law for living space. <clears throat> that is the other option as well. We have the... Uh, crowded Quarters card. So this is a standard one that's included in the game. Uh, unfortunately, that increases anger. But it means each of your heated shelters provides an additional one sleeping slot. So the tents would give us three. Okay. 
but kind of want to keep the discontent under control. <clears throat> well, I like your approach. I like this. Okay. So we do that one. So we're going to place, we're going to use a building, we're going to send an engineer to the cookhouse. Send an engineer to the cookhouse. It's Pauline Grogan. Um, and instead of doing the action of the cookhouse, we do this instead. Spend four food. So we spend four food. And we're going to discard one active discontent token. So there you go. That is pretty awesome. What's this at the bottom? That's the death effect. Oh, okay. Come to that when it happens. So that's that. That's this is gone. Card gone. That's our first action taken. Now that was using a building. That's that's going to be cold unless we put two coal into the thing. And I think I think we do. So there you go. Okay. So we definitely need to get more coal at some point. Do we want to just gather two coal from here? Yeah. Because that's just, that's heated now. Just trying to. Okay. Well, we'll yeah. So just pop, trying to pop that on there. Get two coal. A few other bits. We want to build something at some point. Workshop upgrades, more accommodation. Perhaps an act of law, whatever that is, whatever we decide the law to be. How many have we got left? Five. That then leaves three. Do we want to do a bit more exploring? Um, do we? How do we start doing this automaton thing? So we have to build the factory, and then we use the factory right. to convert a steam core into an automaton. Okay. So we need more wood. Yeah, because we're going to build anyway. We as definitely well, need we? more wood. It's just two wood here. And that that is currently not heated, but one more coal and it will be. Okay. So any other way of getting any wood? If we explore, we don't auto get. No. There's no way of automatic no. collecting. So there's one wood here. Um, and there's two over there. Yeah. We're not in a position to... Can't, can't use, use another card. Anymore. Do we want to look at speeding this up? If we did, we'd send an engineer to the workshop. We could speed that up two spaces. Or we could upgrade the hunter's hut. How do we get more food? We use the hunter's hut. Yeah. That will generate us four food. Okay. Oh yeah, so I said we got loads of food. Oh, we were going to use that card. Ah. Mm. We've done that instead. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a slight problem then. How many are we feeding? Um, engineers. Twelve. Uh oh. <laughs> and the maximum we can get is four food. Four food from using the hunters. Seven. So we're going to have five hunger. Which is fine, because then we just get loads of... But with them next turn, we're going to need 27 food. Yeah. Uh, so how, what's the long-term plan for food then? What? How else can we generate food? Lots lots of hunters. There is a hot house as well, which I've also painted. and looks awesome. Hot house is a building that generates seven food when you use it. Okay. Um, but a hot house requires steam cores because that's the other use for steam cores. I mean, we could build a hot house now if we if we had forward. Yeah, a forward. hot house could go here. Forward to. So we need another one because it's a double double building. Okay. So instead of going down the automaton route, we could just build. Well, food and shelter are the main two things, aren't they? Some. Mm. Um... So within that build action, do we want to try and get another tent as well, or do we want to go for a bunkhouse? There's only three wood. I mean, we need we need we need as much wood as we can. So, I think we need to gather that wood that there, wood. which is at the moment not heated, but one more coal. So one coal. Yeah, that is Which now be. heated. That one and both of those. So we gather that. Right. Five. Five's good. Although if we do build the hot house, that's four. Yeah. And then one other hunter's hut, but then we've still only, we're still only, um, we can enact the law, can't we, to increase this tent we capacity? We could, that would increase discontent. What was the reason we got rid of that red one? Because uh, Pauline Grogan at the cookhouse. Oh, God. Yes. And, and we got rid of it because the social dispute yeah, card, when it, it comes out, so we, I'm, I'm thinking not enact a law, because that's going to put another card into the Dusk Day. At the moment, there's a 50-50 chance a social dispute card comes out. Right. And we want it to come out right now. Yes, because, because that's good for us. Place. So don't put, don't don't put other cards in. And reduce the percentage. Okay. What we've got left? Four. And we've got wood. What's this one? Coal. Coal, wood, coal, wood. Do we do a bit more exploring? Because we're going to need some more resources at some point, or is it a little bit early? 
We've definitely got a build, haven't we? We're definitely going to build. We've definitely got a build. We've got five wood. I'm definitely... If we build... I mean, we could use the hunter's hut. Using the hunter's hut generates us four food. But I'm thinking if we build the hot house, then using the hot house generates us seven food. Yep. And the beacon by next turn. Yes. Well, the beacon... We by need to build the beacon four. by the start of turn four. Right. And we we're, were talking about using the workshop to... Speed this up as well. Possibly to speed that up. Because or up, that, or upgrade. that is really good for us. Can you upgrade the hunter? We can. We could upgrade the hunter's hut. That will generate us two food a turn. Um, and it's two upgrades, so you might as well take Well, advantage. yeah, but we can move that one and do one upgrade. Oh, okay. You can split it. Mm. Build. Workshop. Possibly explore. Hot house. Hot house. Well, no, the that's within the build, isn't it? No, using the hot house. Oh, use sorry, use hot house and possibly explore. Is there anything else that we possibly could do? How many team calls have we got? Two. And then, if not, what order we do we want to do those? We want to explore first, I assume. We can explore with one of those and make because they get sick, don't they, when they explore? Yes. We can afford the remove snow action is always cold. We can afford for an okay. engineer to be go sick, go for it, can't we? So he's going to explore there. Yeah. Yep. What do you want? Two near tiles or one far tile? I think two. Gustav is saying we could use the hot house twice. Yes, I forgot that. The big buildings can be used twice. Oh. Okay. So just before we do that, that is a very good point. Large buildings can be used twice. So we could use the hot house twice and generate 14 food. Good shout because we've got 22 food required next the time. next time. An, that's an early hot house, but it would be heated because of that as well. Oh, I like that instead. Okay. Okay. I, I do like that instead. So I'll change that. Reset that. So build first of all, then. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Do we not want to? We're only building two buildings, but that's okay. Yeah. What's the other thing we're going to build? Another hunter's hut. <laughs> that that really helps us with the food situation. It's either another hunter's hut or a gathering post or a charcoal kiln that turns wood into coal. But I think our wood is... We haven't got much wood. I think, yeah. I think another hunter's hut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so... So... Build. Which is always heated. We spend five wood and a steam core. Two steam cores, isn't it? No, just one. Oh, it's, that's the, I was looking at the upgrade. Yeah. Just one. Five wood. One steam core. Hot house. I've only just been painting this one, so I'm very happy that we're using it. Um, so I think we put that there. And Hunter's Hut. Where's the Hunter's Hut going to go? Does that need to be heated? Does it need to be... Not for its passive effect. Right. I mean, we've only got two places. Here or here. I mean, you can go over something, but I don't want to. Yeah, I think stick it there. Yeah. Right. We awesome. Don't, we don't automatically get anything for building nope. those. No. Nope. Okay. We've got a third build. A third build action. We could use that to dismantle, except we can't dismantle a building that's been used. Otherwise, we could have dismantled the um, gathering post. Yep, close up of the painted hot house. Practical uh, presets. Hmm. Preset. So there you go. So that's the that's the painted hot house, which came out quite nice. Okay, so so use the hot house. We've just built. Do you have to? You don't have to use the hunter's hut. That's a passive. There's action. two things. It provides one food passively, and you can use it to get four food. Okay. But we've got the hot house, so that's a much better option. How do we get more citizens? Uh, various events. More people might turn up. Right. Might. So not. Uh, for seven. And it's orange, so it's heated. Yep. Okay. And again. Totally agree. Yep. There you go, another seven, also oh. heated. Nice. So we're covered for food for the nice. time. Yeah. Okay. And we got we one worker left. One person left. So we talked about using the workshop. Yes, we did. Yep, yeah, I think. We're struggling for shelter a bit, but there's nothing we can do about it. Mm -hmm. Because we've gone for food. You okay. can't do all of it, can you? Ah, no. So we need to swap that and that, because the workshop is an engineer building only. Right. So we've got two things we can do, which are a combination of upgrading or developing the technology. 
So if we upgrade, we what can we do? Can we upgrade? Can't upgrade. No, we can't upgrade anything because we got no wood. Got so no wood. it's this twice. Right. But that's fine. That's good. Okay. Right. Are we happy with that? Yep. All the actions are done. That with red. I think we've done the sickness right. Yeah. Okay. Dusk phase. Off we go. Shuffle the dusk cards. Yeah. It's, someone's suggesting exploring. Exploring. We did talk about it to find we wood, but we 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 couldn't have gathered it. Next round. Yeah, next round. Yeah. Okay. Left or right in the chat. My left hand. My right hand. Left or right. First one that appears, and the answer is. The answer is. <laughs> Good old delay. You did say there was a delay. I did say there was a delay. It's normally four or five seconds. Left. Thank you, Gustav. Is it? What is it? Okay. Child education. So this is the consequence of un us enacting the other Ooh, the law. This is nice. Um, young medics, thanks to their specialised education, the children can help with the sick. Nice. If the child shelter is built, mm -hmm. it is. For each child meeple, cure one. Oh, nice. Otherwise, two hope. Shuffle this card back into the dusk. Oh, so that's interesting. So if it's we hadn't have built the child shelter, but you would have built the child shelter when you enacted the law. So, yeah. I so, assume you can dismantle it. I don't know why it wouldn't be there then. Yeah. So if the child shelter is built for each child meeple, cure one, and then shuffle this card back into the... There should be a gap there, I think. Because it should be that or that. Yeah. And, and then, then you shuffle. do that, whichever. Yeah. So that goes back into the dusk deck. Interesting. It doesn't go to the discard pile. So hopefully we can... It actually it. goes goes back in. Are we going to do one of each? Yeah, one of each is yeah. fine. Nice. Okay. Right, that is the dusk phase done. Hunger phase. So we have no hunger from yesterday. Nope. So we don't need to do that. Feed mm. citizens, so we need to feed the engineers. Twelve. So down yeah. by twelve. That's that done. Night phase. So citizens come home. Pauline. <laughs> and now we need to... So the shelters have to be heated. I didn't mention that, but you can't... You know, shelters provide homes for people, but they need to be heated shelters. Mm -hmm. Thankfully... They are heated because they're on, they're here. Yeah. And they would be heated even if they're on the next one. They would be heated one. even if they're yeah. on the next one. Yeah. Okay. So, so we've got... Children are covered. Kids in the child shelter, which is heated. Yeah. Uh, and then four others. We can afford, we can afford the one sick and two of those. That will still stay within the boundary, but yeah. one of them is going to go over. Okay. Which? I think workers. Less important than the engineers. So... We're, sorry, so we are. Is that what we're saying? We're providing for them, and these ones are getting sick. Uh, I forgot that one. That doesn't other way. seem right. That right. So two engineers and two workers get sick. Getting sick. What? Two. Right. Remind me what this means because we've gone into here. Uh, it's the bit below. So the bit above tells you how many meeples you get. Yep. That's based on the citizen markers. Yep. The sickness markers tell you what's below. So basically, one of those workers is going to become gravely ill because the sickness token is going to flip over. The next time we do the sickness round, the sickness. Yes, yeah. which is the preparation phase. Unless we can cure. Unless we can cure. Which we can't, at the can't with that. Right. So I moved the round marker. We're on round three. Not dead yet. Uh, no developments that trigger. This is the last round to build the beacon, unless we want negative effects. Right. Okay. And the beacon is three wood. Yeah. And we need so we need to find wood. Oh. But we knew that anyway. We knew that anyway. We do have the citizen the... card that can chop down one of the trees. If we get any other wood, anyway, we've got one wood here. The tree chopped down gets us two wood. Yeah. So that's covered. Okay. Refugees. <clears throat> oh. Faces that were once distinct are now bleak with exhaustion. Will we feed that flicker of hope still visible in their eyes? So we can let them enter our city. Mm -hmm. If we do, we gain three workers, two engineers and one child, but hunger goes up by five because okay. they've all arrived hungry. All right. If we have active care, we don't. No. We gain one hope. If we have active greed, we don't. Mm -hmm. Or we can send them all away. 
If we do that, we exhaust all hope and we gain one greed. <laughs> exhaust all hope, literally. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're in as good a position let's, we can go for food it. wise, aren't we? So we gain three workers. Um, Orange one. Yeah. Two engineers. Yeah. One triangle. But that doesn't get us any more meatballs. Okay. Increase hunger by five. And that card is gone. Am I right in saying that? We've increased Correct. the number of people. But worth. they're still within the bracket for the Just, workers. they're right on each one. Gazimi uh, says, I thought it's only shuffled in directly when you have the bad consequence, otherwise it's discarded. Ah, yes. Okay, so I, I got it wrong. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Thank you. The card is right. Uh, okay. Yeah, so if you haven't got the child shelter, you lose two hope and shuffle the card back into the dust deck. Otherwise, you discard it. Thank you. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. That's a lot more sense. Right. So that's the morning phase done. Generator phase. Do we want to spend one coal to avoid an engineer getting sick? Well, yeah, because they're both going to go into the thing, aren't they? I'm tempted to. Mm -hmm. So we spend one coal to put that there. Oops. Um, gain six citizens based on heat and cold markers. Done that. Drop coal. Right, so we're adding three coal in. I'll let you go this time. Two again. Three. Mm -hmm. so, so there's five in there. There's one stuck in there still. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to blow up next turn. And the blowing up twice is game over, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Blowing up once is bad. We can remove five trust cubes by using that building. Okay. And we've got a card that takes away eight. Yeah. Uh, place any cubes into the drawer in the stress track. Check for generator. Break down. Reset the heat marker. Okay. Weather phase. Oh, do you know what? We've knackered. What? Gathering that nine food, it had to be an unoccupied space. <laughs> That's all right. We we'll, might have to oh, use because we built the hot house there. Yeah, and we'd already used the. Oh. And we'd already um, we'd already used Pauline anyway, so we couldn't do it that time. Rats. Rats. Forgot about that. Okay. Uh, cold marker moves up by one. Yellow moves up by one. Orange moves up by one. We gain one food per hunter's hut symbol. One. We two. have two. And the storm marker moves one space. Right. Preparation phase. We choose this advisor, but we don't have any care, so we can't use it. Mm. And resolve the sickness effects. So that worker token is flipped over to the gravely ill side. This one. Yep. Mm -hmm. Action phase. Check the number of meeples is correct. It is, even though we gained loads more people. Yeah. Right. Two, three, five. So... We need to build a beacon. Priority number one. Well, we need to explore first, then. Don't we, we need to explore to find some wood. Yeah. Right, let's explore. So that worker gets sick. Two near tiles. And do you want to explore? If we can possibly use this, that might go unoccupied. Yeah. So here yeah. and well here here yeah. at least. Where else is an unoccupied? There isn't, is there? I don't see what at the minute. I don't see what difference it makes where there's one, one goes, wood really. here. So all I'm thinking is if we if we found stuff here, that might be another good place for a gathering post. Okay, possibly. Okay. Two wood, two wood and a coal. coal. It's a bit rubbish. This one, one wood, two coal. Meh. Is that because we had all the steam cores earlier? <laughs> Which we so. got, we got the good ones early on. Okay. Right. Okay. We need three wood, don't we? We need three wood. Is there any way of getting more than two wood in one go? No. What's this man say? Perform this action as normal, and then place two wood below the chosen expedition. Oh, that's when we go on an expedition. Okay. Yeah. Perform this action on an unoccupied space that has one or more trees. Remove one tree from that space. Gain two wood. Count this action is heated. Hang on a minute. The definition of the word unoccupied. I think we might be okay. okay. I think I've misunderstood the word unoccupied. Thankfully, we have a glossary in the back of the rule book. Um, and I'm pretty sure the term unoccupied is in here. Might need a hospital soon. Yes. Yeah. We also need some more right. accommodation, definitely. A building 
or a space on the map with a meeple on it is occupied. A building or a space on a map tile without a meeple on it is unoccupied. So we can do it. That card said perform this action on an unoccupied space on a tile. That is an unoccupied space and, on the tile. Until we activate the hothouse. Yeah. And then it's occupied. And then it's an occupied space. Yeah, so the term occupied doesn't mean a building on it. It means a meeple on it. Ah. So we can still do that to gain nine food. Oh, well, there's... So that's a good one. And it's a child meeple. So we're definitely doing that one. So we're definitely doing that one. So we're playing Godner Grillac. So we're using a child meeple, which you normally can't do. Um, But it's the gather resources action. So... She's going to get sick, which is fine, because we haven't got, we'd have to heat it quite a way. But we gain food equal to the food bonus on that tile and all adjacent tiles. Yep. So we basically gain nine food. Yep. Right. That's that card. Well, we, we'll leave it there to remind us we've played one this round. Okay. We need to get some... We need How to are we doing for food? 16 and we need 25. But we've got the hot house. Yep. How do you track past 25? You flip it over. Um, should we just do the hot house a moment? We know we're going to do it. Well, we? we need some coal. Oh, right, yeah. It's the hot house is currently cold. It's going to need one, two, three, four coal. How do we generate coal long term? Uh, we build a coal mine here. And, and a, or and we a, a charcoal kiln. And a, or a coal thumper. Right. And a sawmill here. Sawmill there to provide the wood. wood. Long term. Okay. So, so we need wood. Got over there. Five, six coal. Three, okay. so three, we got, two, we got lots one. of coal over there. That's so good. gather two coal from there. That's cold. Got to be that. Uh, we can't do anything about that unless we have three coal beforehand. We didn't. So that's that. Sick. Now we're chucking those three coal in. I mean, it's not enough. But. Can't, I can't see any other way. We need to get these buildings heated. So yeah, three coal. We need one more. So so now the generator tile is now heated. Not that we can do anything with the generator Remind tile. Remind me this. Uh, that removes five stress yeah. cubes. So we probably want to do that at some point. But where's the wood gone? We haven't got the wood yet at all, have we? No. Oh. And they're going to get sick if we get any wood. We've got no way of... Hmm. What uh, what laws are there? Are there any laws that can help us? Yeah, let's have a look. I don't know the law cards. So there's the crowded quarters, which we don't want because that increases anger. Uh, makeshift shelters means that the ruins count as a shelter. In fact, that's the opposite of crowded quarters. So you either have one of those two... Mm -hmm. Oh, because we had child shelter, we can't have child labour. That's mutually exclusive. So we've got the fighting arena, which I don't think we need right now. Because our discontent is okay. We've got the time to rest, which does increase hope. Even if we don't use its ability, we could do that to add a hope. Because mm -hmm. if we get to six, we get the best benefit out of that. So that's a possibility. Um, we've got the new order and new faith. So new faith would be amazing if we had, if we inactivated that motivation. Because when you enact new faith, you activate one hope of each type. Oh, wow. Okay. And it unlocks all of the religious buildings. We go down the religious route. Or we go down the um, the dictatorship route. And we've got different... Different cards. Food additives. Once per round at the start of the hunger phase, you can spend two food to reduce hunger by 10. But if you do, you gain one greed. And the other option is heated meals, which increases hope. And when you perform an action with a citizen meeple, spend two food to count that action as heated. That's good if we've got lots of food coming in. That's actually really good. Food is about the only thing at the minute where we're, I wouldn't say we're sorted, but... That's because actually wrong because we got the hot house. So I'm I'm thinking this. 
and you perform an action within citizen meeting, you may spend two food to count as heated. Yes, yeah. we're, we're in trouble with coal, aren't we? We are. That so that good. that's a possibility. Sounds good. And well done, Bob. off of if we did that, are there two negative cards going in? Well, one of two negative cards going into the dust. One of two positive cards coming in. Positive. Because that, that's a good thing. Okay. So if we did that, that would be a law. Yep. We need to gather some wood, wood. probably twice. Yep. We need to construct. And we need to construct. We, still got we don't need to use the generator, but we could. Uh, if we use the workshop, we could get this because we could speed it up too. Uh, well, we're we going to we're going to get it at the start of next round. Okay. Ah, interesting. Yeah, we're going to get it before it happens, because it happens in the weather phase. Yep. And that's going to move in the dawn phase. Gain one food for each map. So we're going to get four food automatically every. One round. food for each. Each map tile. Oh, yeah, that's nice. a food bonus. So that law is yeah that's going to benefit yeah. the law as well, isn't it? And we've got the oh, so I think I think that law is. Almost definite. Yeah. And then we've still got one more. Possibly a bit more exploring. Stewie says, gather that one wood stroke, one coal on the generator tile. Yeah, well, we can't gather that one because we've got we've already been to that space. There is the one wood here. Yeah. I mean, ultimately, if we need three wood, it is got to be gather, gather and build. Yeah. That's that's the, uh... <clears throat> gather, gather, build. That's right. for enacting the law. That's for the workshop. Possibly, if we want to do the workshop, mm -hmm. because it's a red action. And then possibly one for explore. What other options or what other things are there? Use the generator building if we need to. Right. Oh, I thought it was a wood, but it's a meeple. Yeah, this one here, this is a this is a meeple. Yeah. That's a, that's a worker. Uh, and the... We need to connect here somewhere. At some well, point, yeah. So we could just explore. If we explore first... Because then we might have a better gather action. That's a good shout. Okay, explore. Are we still going to nears? I mean, this is our only source of coal, isn't it? Yeah. So there and yeah. up there, maybe? Yeah. Right, okay. Look at that one. Three wood. Okay, that's. And four coal. But four coal is good. It's not... Right, so we have a slightly more efficient gather action now that we can get. You can only gather two resources. You can gather two from one space. So then we're going to go. Um, currently, only things that are red or on the generator tile are heated. But let's do that law first because then we can use two food to count it as heated. That's what that law said, wasn't it? So if we enact the law first. Well, we need to make sure. Oh, we've got the hothouse as well. That's, what that's probably the last action then. Because that's seven, that puts us up to 23. It's not quite enough. Oh, in fact, we've got five hungry people as well. Ah. Yeah, we need lots of food. Okay. Oh, one worker got sick from exploring. Thank you. We need a sick worker. I thought, did I not do that? Apparently not. Okay. Double. Okay, so let's go. <laughs> Double hot house. Gather, gather, build. And no law? We haven't got. We don't need the law this turn. No. We do, we don't need it. So that's all we've got. Isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yes. No, I didn't do that. Sorry. Yeah. No. No, I did it the first time. So the hot house is cold. We need one more coal. Oh, this game. <laughs> it's taken to round three for me to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it only gets worse. Yeah. Of course. Of course. Um... Oh, that's blooming weather cards. The weather cards have been bad. To be honest. Oh, have they? Yeah. Yeah, they've not been good. Yeah, these these have been moving up faster than I would have liked. So if we send somebody to the hot house, they get sick. We can, yes. We can afford the hot house is currently not warm enough. We can afford for one more worker to get sick at the moment. Just about. So worker gets sick. Seven food gained. And we gotta go again, haven't we? 
I mean, we don't have to use the hot house this turn because we'll just get hungry. As long as we've got enough to sort out the hunger. Do we get, we don't get our auto food before we have to feed people? No, we're going to feed people this round. Yeah, okay. We'll get that next. Okay, well, we've got to do gather, gather. We know that. And it's only two resources, isn't it? it yeah. And we've got to get but if, forward. Oh, and that's all cold as well. Yep. Because we haven't got any Unless we... Oh, God. Unless we go, and we can't get any... If you go and get cold. If you go and get coal, that's cold as well, isn't it? So we've got four actions left. Yeah, we've got to do gather, gather, build. Definitely. So we have one action left. Yeah. Um... Which was going to be the law, but if we don't do the law, we could gather coal. Well, we haven't got enough food still yet. Still haven't got enough food. No, but I think I think we're okay. We'll sort the food out next time. Okay. So hang on a minute. Before we use the hot house. Well, we have it again. Okay. If you use one of the workers to go here, so inst instead of that worker going to the hot house, right? We send that worker here to gather two coal. They're still going to get sick, so that's the same. Yeah. That's so we've same. got two coal instead yeah. of the seven food. That goes to there. Right. But now we spend one of those coal. Right, now the hot house is heated, but also these two tiles are now heated. Ah, uh, okay. So now we'll go to the hot now house. Now we go to the hot house, which is now heated. Uh, so it gets us seven. And then gather, gather, build. Gather, gather, build. So because, yeah, so we can gather there, gather there. We've got four wood. <sighs> build. Build. Beacon. Building is always heated. So we're building the beacon. And then do we want... Ah, now the beacon is a double building, so we're going to lose something. Do we want to lose that one coal? The trees automatically. We, could, we can lose trees if we need to. Should we lose the trees? I'm going to try and get here on my next turn. Lose these two trees? Yeah. Okay. So the beacon is built there, and then we've got one wood left. Yeah. So we can either go gathering post, um, gathering post, hunter's hut, charcoal kiln, another workshop. Don't lose the trees. Wood is the most important thing now. Well, it's either that or lose a coal. We are hoping to get here, aren't we? What's Gustav telling us to do? Lose the coal instead of the two trees? Yeah, because the trees is worth four wood, isn't it? And it is, but we coal. have to build a sawmill on the tile. What, for the trees? Yeah, you can't just chop them down. You need a sawmill to chop them down. And I'm not thinking we're going to build a sawmill over here. Fine. Yep. We'll go with it. I haven't painted the beacon yet. There is the beacon. So, we got, we've got... Something we happens build... as soon as we build the beacon. No, no, nothing happens when we build it, but we can now choose the go on, an, go on an expedition, which would have required a worker. Okay. But we haven't. Send the kids on an expedition. We can't. So we've got one more to build. Do we want a gathering post, a hunter's hut, a charcoal kiln, or a workshop? I don't... Uh, okay, so a gathering post here is not bad, but it would get us that, 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 and that next time. Okay. So that's not a bad place for a gathering post. Another option, we're going to go here. It is another option. There's another option. That's a steam core. Or save up. That's okay as well. Save mm. up what, sorry? Uh, save up the wood for, for next time. But I'm... Mm. Are we thinking about doing this next time to try and get a constant oh, coal? Let's use one of our build actions to get rid of the gathering post. Ah, which means we can put the beacon there and keep the trees. So our first construct action is to dismantle the gathering post. There we go, sorted. That goes back on the board. Someone's just put it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So that was that done. Second action was to build the second sub action was to build the beacon. Third sub action. Are we keeping the wood? Or are we, are we saving something? the wood? I'll tell you what. We've not built any more shelters. <laughs> no, I certainly I said that a moment ago. We're, we're okay, really... let's keep the wood. Really? Because if we go gathering post, you're going to gain 
if, if we put it there, you're going to gain two wood, two coal. If we put it there, we're going to get two coal, one wood, one steam core. We're talking about exploring there later. Oh, okay. Sure. Over here? Yeah. Get you a bit more. Right. And that's the wood spent. Yep. Gone. That steam core is gone. That's been before. We've got one Joe Cole and one thing. Are we, are we all done? Did we do the right thing with our... So constructing didn't get any sick. We got sick for that. We got sick for that, but then everything else was heated. Yeah, we've had two. We've had two sick, haven't we? Okay. We've gone up two. I think we're good. Right. Dusk phase. Off we go. Come uh, on. Shuffle. Oh, is there only one card in there? Got shuffle this one so card. So if you can put in the chat any number between one and one. one. So this is the social dispute card. Excellent. I'm waiting for somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Argument. Uh, well, I've read it earlier. So, if you have no active discontent, which we don't, we choose one. Minus one discontent. So we can get rid of that. Ooh. Place one near or far tile. Ooh. Perform two workshop Ooh. actions. Well, we're going to get that anyway, aren't we? This we are. round. So there's no, no real... Point in doing that. Well, no, there is. If, we, if they bring that one forward, then that's developed, and we get another one. And then we can develop the other one. Okay. I like the idea of placing a near or a far tile. I like. Definitely. There's three of these left. Okay. Do you know what they are? No. no right. But okay. whenever you whenever you remove snow, you get two of them. And there's three of them. So if we place one of them now. Hmm. Oh, I see what you mean. But I also see what you mean. I'm getting this coal mine up early. What's a coal mine? Five wood and a steam core. We've got steam core. We need to be very careful about our wood. Yeah, definitely. You said you've got to build a sawmill there. You have to build a sawmill on the tile. An upgraded sawmill can take them from adjacent tiles, but the sawmill has to be... That seems a bit backwards. So you're spending two wood to only long-term game four. Yeah, but the advantage, the idea is that you upgrade the sawmill right. and then it will take trees from adjacent tiles as well. Oh, well, that doesn't... You need you need a clump of trees. So a saw an upgraded sawmill there would be quite good because oh, it could yeah. get those trees and those trees. Got you. And we need a hospital. Yeah. So there's the the, the medical post or there's the infirmary. Does this go back in? No. So that's going to trigger. Uh, that's going to that goes yeah. out of the game. That next social dispute card will come in, uh, which okay. we've seen what it is. Yeah. And the, it causes a reshuffle of the dusk deck back into there. Right. So. Are we thinking far? And if we are, are we thinking here for the coal or are there, we thinking up the there wood. for the wood? If we go with wood, what do we have to build? Uh, the wall drill. Again, it's five wood and a steam core. Excuse me. And yeah, we've got this wood processing. So if we do build a sawmill or a wall drill, we get extra wood for that. Why can't you burn wood? <laughs> you can at the charcoal kiln. Right. But no, you can't chop trees down and without a sawmill. And chuck them in the generator. Yeah. Having played this before, and I and I haven't, what's more, what more coal or wood? I would assume coal I've is. never got to the point where any, any decisions I've made have made it. Right. Difference because okay. I just keep dying. Coal or wood, but I the problem is we can't build this until we've got the wood. five wood. We can't build that till we've got five wood, and five wood is so I think I think that first difficult. Yeah, far tile up there. Yeah, three trees Ooh. and two trees, Ooh. all the trees. Okay, well, now there's an advantage to building the sawmill. Yeah, except none of them are empty. You can't build the sawmill on that tile because neither of the spaces are empty. That's great for having an upgraded sawmill next to it. But as a tile, that's not really good for us. OK, but if we put an upgraded sawmill here and or, or we others... just build a sawmill here and, and get rid of those two trees. Well, we can chop one down with one of our blokes. That's true. But you can only use the sawmill once per round. So it's going to be four rounds before yeah. with a gradual introduction of okay. Anyway, we're all done. So, so this that, is that is gone from the game. Gone. And we now get the next one for you. If you want to have a look at that, that is our next social dispute card. Fear leads to anger, anger leads to hate, hate leads to suffering. If you have more if you have more active hope than active discontent, 
we don't have either. Then good moment, stuff happens. Remove stress uh, and gain food. Otherwise, uh, for each child meeple gain a sick child, destroy two buildings occupied by citizens meeples. That's horrible. Bad. That's really bad. Yeah. So that gets shuffled in with the current discard pile to so form a new dusk deck. We need to activate yeah. hope. Yeah. Which we're going to. Uncertainty. That'll be the next one for yeah. later. So those three get shuffled in together. That dusk phase done. Hunger phase. So we have five hungry people from yesterday. Yeah. We need to sort them out. Remind me. So we just spend food to oh, reduce hunger. Oh, it's just food, it's, right? Yeah. Okay. I thought. It's food something. to reduce hunger. Yeah. And then if the hunger marker was on one or higher, there would be a bad effect. Ah, okay, dokey. As it was, everybody who was hungry from yesterday, we've now fed them. Yep. Um, but now we need to feed. 25. 25 workers. So that's zero and then that's seven. Seven yeah? people hungry. Okay. Next is the night phase. People come home. Um, <laughs> D, I'm shuffling. I was just about to say we haven't done accommodation, but that's coming next, isn't no, it? It is next. Is that it? I can't see. Yeah, five and three. Yep. Right. So, situation is these two tents are heated and the child shelter is heated. Do we want to put the one coal in? Is that when we do that now to make sure we do uh, We can do it now or next time. Child. But I think, mm, no, I think keep it. We're all right for sick kids at the moment. Oh, yeah, true. Okay. So we can put the kids in here, and we've got four spaces for nice, nice warm. Oh dear. Yeah. Oh dear. So Is that one, two, three, one? Okay. Yep. Yeah, so somebody's going to die. Somebody's going to die because because unless we can cure two, that's going to flip over. And it's when it flips over from the school side to the syringe side, somebody dies. Oh. We've got no way of doing it. No, then. we know we're doing it. Right. We're done. End of the round. Dawn phase. Move the round marker. Scenario trigger tokens. So, so all sorts of things have happened. This. Yes. Okay. We get that. So that is now ours. Right. And we start working on one of these. Weather phase. I'm thinking this one. Do we need to put a reminder somewhere for Remember, we've just got to remember that, this yeah. in the weather phase, okay? <laughs> so, if we start working on this one next, yeah, definitely six rounds one, two, three, four, five, six, and the scenario trigger token. Um, so if the beacon is built, go to A. The beacon shines bright, plus one hope or oh. minus one discontent. We need the hope for that. If we don't have hope, real bad things happen. But if we've got hope, well, we've got four, okay. so we can either activate one of those two. Oh. We could activate care, and then we can exhaust care to cure two, and the citizen doesn't die. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Or if we activate the other one, if that horrible card doesn't. Come well, at out. the moment, we still have more hope than more active hope than we do active discontent. Oh, sorry, I'm thinking hope is a specific. No. Yeah, no they're no, all no. hope. They're all hope. Yeah. So if we. Yep. 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 Rather than adding a new one, we activate care. Activate care. And reveal and resolve S zero two. So I need to put that on 11. Uh, so S02 is this. Finding Winter Home. The beacon's light guided refugees scattered across the frozen wasteland to our settlement. Amongst them were scouts from Winter Home. As it turns out, it is the nearest occupied settlement. However, the news they brought is alarming. They say no other beacons were lit, not even the one at Winter Home. What has happened to Winter Home? So we put... S05. Okay. Oh, right. Up there. We go and have a look, do we? Possibly. Uh, and then we can either let the refugees enter our city, plus one hope, gain five workers, one engineer, and three children. So it's basically a whole bunch more refugees, or send them to look for another place to live, minus one hope. Are we going with option A? Yeah. So we gain a hope. Do we want a new one? Yeah, because we were trying to get the we six, were. weren't we? That's we were. Yeah. Okay, so we gain a hope. It is... Inactive. Justice. Justice. Right, so we gain five workers. <laughs> so this flips, does it? No, no, oh, no, no, just move on here, 30. Right? Yeah. Okay. One engineer. Okay. Three children. One of those. This is, this is more meeples. Right. Or it will be in the next action phase. Well, it's one of each. Yeah. Extra. Fabulous. So we've done that. Right. Morning phase. 
Good morning. Relics of the past. One of our eldest citizens has passed away. After examining his goods, we found a large collection of literature that he brought with him on the expedition. Our citizens are at odds over what we should do with it. Okay, so if we exhaust motivation or justice, which we can, we can keep the books as public property because their contents are a real treasure for the whole population of our city. His body will be burned in a public thanksgiving ceremony. So we can do that. If we do, we lose an engineer. So one of the engineers and then dies. And the meeple, we lose the meeple. Again. And we add card D35 to the Dusk deck. Why is there a blue? Uh, that's an engineer meeple. That's an engineer child. Oh. So it's not that one. Yeah. So we could do that. And I assume that card is going to be good. Okay. Or we can use the books to fuel the generator. I was just about to say chuck them in the fire. In these dire times, it is the only good use for them. One engineer dies, oh. gain three coal, mm. but we lose a hope, uh. but we also lose a discontent. Mm. Option three, the collection belongs to his family and his successor should inherit it. One engineer dies and add D36 to the Dusk deck. God. So engineer dies, engineer dies, or we lose one. Yeah. So an engineer dying is different from losing an engineer. Losing an engineer, literally, we just move it back, but yeah. that's it. Yeah. The engineer dying means we gain a corpse marker yeah. and we go through the death process. Which means we're probably going to lose hope. Yeah, that's the difference between losing one and dying. So it's got to be the top. Although gaining three coal is attractive. Three coal is nice. Attractive. But, I mean, we've been good so far at not having anybody die. And we lose a, but we lose a hope. But we lose a hope, but we also lose a discontent as well. Yeah, so we're effectively going to lose two hope if we choose the middle option. Because the engineer dies, and when somebody dies, we're going to lose a hope. You lose a hope. Anyway. You lose one hope unless it's a kid, in which case you lose two. Oh, nice. Pretty much. I remember writing the section on uh, health and death, or sickness and death. My favourite section to write. Um, so yeah, move the corpse marker forward one space, corresponding citizen back one space, uh, and then we do a citizen card from the deck to see what happens. But if you just lose one, then literally there's no no further effects. Gathering post is going to get us a bit. I'm liking, Peter says save the book, so I'm thinking I'm probably going one. I'm liking option one as well. Yeah. But we, think... we have to exhaust the motivation. Yeah, I think that's what we've picked then. Okay, we go option one. Lose so we engine. exhaust motivation. Lose the engineer. We lost the engineer. Um, and we add D35 to the Dusk deck. So that big deck of cards, they're in numeric order. Okay. Uh, if you flip them over and then look in the bottom right. Trying not to read them. Yeah, and you find D35. And you shuffle, oh, it's it, the other way around. shuffle it into the Dusk deck. Can we read it before we put it in the Dusk nope. deck? No, nope. nope. secret. Okay, secret rule. And it's, <laughs> it's a good card. Thank you, Gustav, for watching. He's got to disappear. And that shuffles in. Are we ready? Generator phase. So we could spend a coal or we get a sick kid. I, I think at this point, sick kid. Uh, right. Oh, the other reason for not fueling the generator more is it would mean four cubes would go in instead uh, yeah. of three. Okay, yeah. So three cubes go in. Your turn. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Two have come out, so we probably need to be fixing that this turn. Yep. Otherwise, it might go pop. Yep. Um. Done that. Done that. Done that. Reset that. Check for generator breakdown. Right. Weather phase. Oh. Okay. So that's moving two. It's getting cold. But that's moving one. But yeah. these two aren't moving. Okay. But it's getting very cold. One food per hunter's hut symbol. Uh, two food. Uh, two. Expeditions move two. We don't have any expeditions. We get this. Gain one food for each map tile depicting a food bonus. Which so we gain four, four food. Nice. Four. And the storm marker moves one closer. Right. Well, we have four up there. So three away from the storm. At the yeah. Time. Done, done, done. Preparation phase. So if we choose the health advisor. Yep. We exhaust care. Yep. We cure two. I don't flip this back over though. Nope, we, we just, just move it back to one, two. 
Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, it's still going to flip. It's still going to flip, but we don't get the spent worker token. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. Resolve sickness marker effects. So that engineer token flips over. This one. Well, both of them flip over. Oh, I see. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. because the worker token flipped from the school side to the syringe side, yeah. a worker dies. So what happens when a worker dies is that sickness marker moves back one because that sick person is dead. That moves back one. Yeah. We gain one corpse. And then we either reveal a random card from the top of the deck and apply the death effect based on the type of citizen that just died. Yeah, that's the or on the bottom. we discard a card from hand. Now, the reason why you would want to discard a card from hand is because you then know exactly what's going to happen. Whereas if we get a random one, it could be worse. Right, okay. So we have a look at these. If there's any of these that we're thinking we're not actually going to use any of these, yep. then this might... Oh, and it has to match. So it's either that one or that one. So were we going to use either of these during the game? We were talking about possibly chopping a tree down. We were. Perform this action is normal and then place two wood underneath the chosen expedition. Right? We are going to probably go on an expedition this turn as well. Can we move the sick engineer instead? I don't think it matters. Yeah. No, wouldn't have mattered. Yeah, I'm tempted to lose one of these because then we know it's just that. I'll let you pick. It's a bit. I think that not one. Overly short. I think get rid of that one because I'm thinking we actually ignore these, and we go straight onto this one. Yeah. And therefore, this is going to take so long that getting that two would by that point. So what was the effect on the bottom? Uh, minus one hope. Was that it? Yeah. Right. I think the justice. Yep. Sorry, when I was reading that, I thought it was all three, but it's no, it's based on the, the yeah, okay, yeah, type of right. I'm exhausted. <laughs> um, adjust the number of citizen meeples in the supply. Uh, so it should be yeah. six workers, three, six, and three. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Right, and then it's the action phase. Now, at this point, I'm going to take a short break because I'm getting really hungry. But the advantage of playing with two people is Ben's going to stay here. Um, so, yeah, it's Ben's stream. Take over. Cool. Uh, do whatever you want to do. The chat will tell you if you get anything wrong. I'll be sat outside having some food, but I'll be back in five minutes. So, good luck. Thank you. Any questions before I disappear? I mean, I'm only going to be outside. Yeah, okay. So. Just do the. Do you want another cup of tea? Basic, yeah. If you wouldn't mind. Why have you take it? Great. As it comes, just one sugar. Thank you. Anybody else want a cup of tea? <laughs> Milk. Wow. Well, hello, everyone. Milk. Uh, yes, please. Milk. Yeah. Milk right. Ah. Uh, right. Okay. So. Where were we? Needing. Needing charcoal. Needing wood. Needing food. Generally, when I'm doing this kind of stuff, I try and plan, as you probably saw a moment ago, my people out. Are we going to enact that law? What was the law we were talking about? Heated meals, wasn't it? Whenever you perform an action with a citizen meeple, you may spend two food to count that action as heated. <laughs> okay. Uh, that, and we're talking about getting rid of five cubes. Which is an engineer just taking five cubes off. Uh, I think. Well, we're definitely going to do this, I think. But I will place that there ready. Because I know we lose the other card, but I'm not exactly sure the other thing. So I'll check that with Paul. I think that's chap's gonna get rid of some bad stuff so that the uh, generator doesn't blow up. We wanted to build up there. We need to try and take those trees out, and we certainly need some more accommodation. We need wood. Mm 
gathering post. So let's activate the gathering post. But that's going to be a cold action. Well, I definitely think we need to enact this law first of all. Hmm. Peter, I haven't got an I I haven't got a clue how to do the explore. <laughs> exploring. Paul was gone. All right, you take over. Yeah, okay. Um, with a game that you don't know how to play. It's all fun, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, we need to do the gathering post. To get some coal, we need to do that. I can hear the stairs coming back up the stairs. Just save someone till you bag. I'm going to enact the law. All right, okay. Because then by spending food, we're going to. I want to do the gathering post thing. Right. But that's going to be cold, isn't it? Uh, uh, yeah, it's a yellow building there. So yeah, we've no, not it, got the coal. If, have we? if we enact the law, then we can spend two food to count it as heated. Right. So enact so the engineer law. there. Now that's cold. Yeah, that's what I thought, uh, but that... Can't do anything about that. No, that doesn't go anywhere. So engineer gets sick. That gets ditched, because that's the other one yep. we can't do. Building's on, so... People Congrats. work harder when they are fed well fed. We will provide them with hot meals. Whenever you perform an action with a citizen meeple, you may spend two food to count it as heated. Right. Are we adding a new random one? A new random... Because we gain hope for doing that. Right. Or do we want to activate one of those? Do we want to activate care again for the future? Yeah, I don't think we're going to get to the six. I think we need to keep those six citizens under control. So that's that. Do we gain... What I didn't know, I was just saying yep. in the chat. Do we gain any cards? Yes. Because of that, yes. So L04 right. has two possible consequences. I thought we did. Yeah, thumbs up. Give the video a thumbs up. That one goes in there and shuffled as well. Yeah. Go straight in. But we think it will probably be a good thing. It's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now we've done that. Currently, we're going down the route of keeping everybody happy, saying yes to everything. Yeah. And shiny, happy people. <laughs> Generally, that's why. Generally how I play. It's, like, it's like what I try to do, but yeah. sometimes in this game you need to make some difficult decisions. So now we've done that, we can use Chappy, use two food. Spending two food to make that heated, yep. which gets us that one, that one, that one, that one. And this one? And that one, yeah, yeah. Every, every adjacent space. And that one? Or was there was you, two you two one there? there. Yeah, right. There was two in there. We've now got four coal and two steam cores. Two steam cores. We need yeah. one for the war drill. <clears throat> wall, wall drill. Wall drill. We? But we need more wood for that. Yeah, and we've got trees. So this was that right. was the discussion was having. So we need to chop down the trees, and we need to get more wood to build. The uh, so we need wood. We also need to build more accommodation. We want to deploy a scout as well. Yes, and um, yeah, we definitely. Need I don't know how to do that. So. so it's it's another action we haven't done yet, which yep. is the deploy scouts action. Okay. Which is place a worker or an engineer on the bottom of one of the expedition cards. That's it. That's the action. Fine. That is neither. Uh, I think that counts as always heated. In other words, you don't get sick. Okay. So we need to chuck some coal in, don't we? We need to chuck some coal in, otherwise everything else we do is going to be cold. And we need loads of food. We only need eight food this time, don't we? Not eight food. Well, we need food. We need seven plus twelve, nineteen. Yeah, so we need a total of nineteen food, and we've got four. Okay. We uh, we ditched the worker card that helped on the expedition. We we need to fix the generator this turn as well. Yes, I did. Sorry, I did mention that yeah. one. Should we I, just? I put that aside. So if just we do, do it. Yeah. Well, we're going to need to put. It's a red action, though, isn't it? Yeah. So so two coal is enough to make that action heated. So the engineer goes on there. Oh, it comes down by we five. get rid of five cubes. Yeah. Right, that's that situation Oops. sorted. 
Um, we need more wood. We need to build houses. We need to build the wall drill. I need to be. I need to be there. That's we it. need to do lots. How are we going to get more wood? Apart from chopping trees down. Chopping trees down. Chopping the trees down. Yeah. So the hot hot house twice will do it. Yeah. Uh, it's not heated yet. Two more coal will make it heated. Or we can spend food each time we send. So you you get net five instead of net seven by using our law. Right. But that doesn't overly help. Because if we do that, that, that's 14. That takes us to 18. Yeah, we seriously need more wood. Yeah. So I'm... I, Wood's the problem. That That is a problem with all of those trees there. That's kind of cocked us up, has it? Yeah. Yeah. This is not a bad place for an upgraded sawmill. Yeah, because it's going to chop forward. But I, I think I think use this worker. What was this? One? I think this Paolo Feldman. Gather the resources on an unoccupied space that has one or more trees. Remove the tree, gain two wood. Count the action as heated. It gets rid of one of the trees. Mm -hmm. We can't build a sawmill there this turn, though. Mm. Yeah, the wood is a... Okay, so let's use these two coal, then. Right. Let's... Things are toasty hot. Do those two. Yeah. Which is heated because it's orange. Yeah. So that's 14 food. Yeah. Right. Food situation is under control. Well, we're one short. Are we? Yeah. We've got seven plus twelve. Okay, so we'll just get one hunger. Uh, and we've got three actions left. We've gone on an expedition. Your man, possibly. It, it, it gets us a couple of wood. Possibly for that. And then two would be... Are we then going to build more tents or more buildings? Or are we trying well, to save the we wood need up? Wood. Are we using <clears throat> the wood to build a bunkhouse? Uh, we could use the workshop. Okay. What and we could do... get we could get this back too. Yeah. Or we could spend a steam core to upgrade. The hot house? What's the upgrade? If hot we upgraded house? the hot house before we used it, oh, yeah. mm, it's two steam cores. We we need those steam cores for the other stuff. Yeah. What's the medical post to? Cure three. Or if it's upgraded, cure four. <laughs> Factory. Factory allows us to build automatons, yes. but yeah. we had that idea and then yeah. <laughs> quickly the decided to... So, I mean... If you use your chap, how else can we get some wood? Or I'm still it... thinking an upgraded sawmill here would be nice. Okay. Oh, we could upgrade the beacon as well. If you upgrade the beacon, you send a, you can send another scout out. Uh, and upgrading the beacon costs one steam core. What? Sorry, what did you just say? We need an upgraded sawmill. sawmill an upgraded sawmill wood. here right. would allow us to start chopping down these trees, but it's a slow process. Yeah, I, I, I think the sawmill here, gradually chopping down these trees, but that's not going to be enough. Mm. Okay, so if we send somebody on an, an another expedition, then you need less bunkerage because they they're not in. That's true. That's true. You're not able to house them anymore. Yeah, that is very true. Let's do. Well, I think we've we've definitely said this, haven't we? So let's do this. So we're going to perform the action on an unoccupied space that has one or more trees. Remove the tree. So that goes. Was that one? Yeah, yeah, so that goes there. It's counted as heated. Yeah. We get two wood. Get two wood. Right, okay. Put that thing on. And that is our That's the citizen one. card used for this round. We've still got two. We... we have three wood for building stuff. Yeah, we're going to build, aren't we? Now, a sawmill is two. Bunkhouse is three. Yeah. We, we need more wood. We still need more wood. Yeah. 
Well, we tried to get there, but then there's trees in the way. Is it worth exploring again then to try and get some wood up on the build? Explore or explore build? Let's heat it. Orange. Hmm. How would it have coal? No coal. No. It, I mean, we got two steam cores. We need to save one of the steam cores for the wall drill. Yep. I mean, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Oh no, the other the other source of wood is here. <clears throat> and the other option was to upgrade a beacon, possibly. Is up upgrading's here, isn't it? It's not part of the upgrading build is the workshop. Yeah. Yeah. So we could go there. We could upgrade one. We could in. Speed up, thingy by one, and then that's still. Or we could upgrade two things. We could upgrade a hunter's hut. Good. Although we got the hot house, so I'm I'm happy with the hunter's huts just providing a little trickle of food in the background. Do we need to build a bunk house? We do need to build more shelters for the people. Yeah, because the storm's coming soonish as well. Storm is coming soonish and the tents are going to disappear. Oh, this is easy. We need more wood, we need more coal, we need to build more accommodation. Yep. Apart from that, it's, it's fine. Yeah. About the only thing that we've kind of got in hand is food. Is that. that food and, the, and, the, and that track. Food dish, yeah. Uh, we don't have any children that allow for a build action. No. And we can't. We've already used the citizen card for for this round. So building hospital and tent bunkers is also an option. We haven't got enough wood. Can we? Can't no, build we, a hospital no. We need, as well? we need the wood. <laughs> we can build a bunkhouse, but we can't build a hospital as well. And there's one wood there, and there's one wood there. That's we, why I'm thinking we need to get a sawmill. We need to. I one thing we need to explore as well because we need to reveal. Okay. okay. We need to reveal some more tiles. Go for it then. Yeah. With so, a worker? Yeah. So a worker gets sick. Unless we spend two food on it. I don't think we want to spend two food. No, not I think we're okay. sick. Uh, uh, right. One far or two near? That's the advantage there, isn't it? Or we go for two near. There. I think we're a way off this. Yeah. We, we Again, we haven't got wood to build the so, thingy. Here? Yeah. So what some people do, just for when you play, is they put all of these down at the start of the game. Oh right. You actually build the map with them all face down. And then you just and then you just flip them over. Oh, okay. oh, three woods, nice. Uno, dos, tres. Okay, so that's that. Action. Um, we still got one left. Is is this it? Is this our last action? Yeah. Are we going to build or are we going to upgrade? They're running short of wood, so the decision is pretty critical now. Yeah, but thankfully we've just found three wood. It's just over there, just over the next hill. Um, the problem is it, it's cold. Even collecting that, unless we spend two food, is cold. Yeah, we can afford for one more person to get sick at the moment. Just, just to... well, everybody's all they're going to get sick here as well. But we can't afford for that to happen. Then. So that, or or we build. Yeah, we build a bunkhouse. That's about the only. See, doing a build action and building one thing yeah, just seems, seems to... massively inefficient. Don't do it. We don't do it. The we thing is, you can't things. use the sawmill on the turn that you build it. Oh no, you can. You can use a sawmill on the turn that you build it. What right. you, yeah, what you can't do is you can't dismantle a building on the turn that you used it. And you can't build something on the space. So if you send a worker here to gather that, you can't then build there because there's a worker there. But you can use a building that you've constructed on the same turn. So next turn we could build the sawmill and use it. There's no, in other words, there's no advantage to us building the sawmill on this turn. Where's our supply of coal? 
Our, our supply of coal is just gathering from the board, isn't it? Yeah. Gathering post. Oh. Oh, I like that. Sawmill and gathering post. That's the three wood. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So, construct, spend the three wood. Nice. Sawmills haven't been painted yet. They're next on the list. Where were we putting the sawmill? Between these there. trees right yeah. at the top, yeah? Uh, oh, what's it? They have the actual workers, but different I think colours. The meeples are better. Oh, okay. That's the sawmill. Do, 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 do. Gathering post here. Right. That's it. Uh, so that's the action phase. Right. Reveal and resolve a dusk card. If you do that, I'm, my. my yeah, he's probably ready. So I'll be back in a bit. I have pre-shuffled these, so if somebody wants to start in my left hand, one to five. Someone give me a numere. Uh, 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 while I have a sip of tea. Two. Is this one? This card says, "Why Paul is gone? You instantly win." Beer social dispute. Fear leads to anger, anger leads to hate, hate leads to suffering. If you have more active hope than active discontent, which we do, remove up to four stress cubes from the stress track or gain food equal to the round number. Otherwise, choose one for each child, meeple, gain one sick child, destroy two buildings. So we've done, done well here. Remove four stress cubes. I don't think so. Gain food equal to the round number. We are in round four. And that means we will be able to feed everybody as well. So we're going to gain four food. Yep. That's it. Does this just go to the discard pile? We've got the best card. We've got the social Obviously dispute. Here and here. Oh, and is that a good one? Yes. Yeah. So we, uh, because we've got more active hope than active discontent, we could, either, just. <laughs> we could either remove four stress cubes, which I thought we've only got two, Okay. Or we could gain food equal to the round number. So we gain four food, so we're not going to get any hunger this round either. Okay. That just goes to discard. No, yeah? so social dispute cards have gone out the game. Ah, yeah, and then this one. That one gets shuffled in with that into there. Now. But you have a look at that first, so you know what it is. Okay, so. Yeah, it was. Right, I'm yeah. just going to sit out in the hallway and eat me at lunch. You can eat there if you want. Don't well, it might me. picked up on that. Ah, so uncertainty. I don't think we should tell them what we're going to do in advance. Let them think and worry. You have this in your playthrough. I remember this, Paul. If you've got any active hope or discontent for your most common active token, which for us, I believe, is care, we can cure various other things. Most likely cure for us. Okay, so that gets shuffled into there. Do, 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 do. Uh -huh. Again. Okay. So what do we do? The dusk phase, remove scenario and event display cards. We've done that one. Reveal and resolve a dusk card. We've done that one. Okay. Hunger phase. Decrease hunger by spending food. Hunger down by seven. Food down by seven. Resolve and reset hunger marker. Feed citizens indicated by current round, which is children. children. Children is 12. 12 food off. We go down to three. Feed citizen. Night phase. Return spent citizens. We pause. Uh, that smells really nice, Paul. Mm. Uh, is that it? Five and three. Six. Where's the other one? Oh, he's here. He's yeah, on an expedition. Yeah, okay. Uh, lay down citizen meeples in heated shelters. We're not doing that, are we? Not doing that. Each citizen meeple without a warm place uh, gets sick. So the children are covered. Um, and we are going to 
how we can house four of these people in Where tents. Where are the tents? They're on the generator tile, aren't they? So they're heated. Okay. Just. Yeah. Right. So we can. Well, they're both going to go into a bad area. So we're going to do those four. So these four are going to get sick. Two and two. Excuse me. When do you flip over to the skull? Hmm? When does it flip to the skull? Or when we back? resolve the sickness marker. Right. We haven't done that yet. So that's that bit. Each citizen. Yeah, done that. Just check the chat. Okay. I haven't made any mistakes yet. Dawn phase. Pass the leadership market. Move. <laughs> flip overs. Move the round marker. Bring my cup of tea upstairs. Resolve development and scenario trigger tokens. There aren't any. Morning phase. Reveal and resolve a morning card. That's not the weather, is it? Is this a morning card? Because Paul was doing these. Paul, with the morning cards, the one by the round tracker. And the morning pull, yeah. the morning cards, the one by the round tracker. Yes. These ones here, yeah. yeah. Okay, morning. Definitely brought my cup of tea upstairs, but I don't know where I put it. Yeah, you had it resting on the end there. And then you went into that room. Oh, it's there. Doomsayer. There are people who must be the centre of attention, even when the end of times is upon us. One of our citizens stirs people up by publicly maligning us. He claims that we are keeping most of the food for ourselves and spy on everyone in order to prepare the groundwork for ruling by tyranny. Sounds good to me. He gathers a crowd that grows with, uh, sorry, he gathers a crowd that grows with each day. Something must be done. Minus one hope. Oh, so we lose one hope. Yep. Just goes. Okay. So three options. Let's confront him publicly. He's all talk. Only if you exhaust justice. Nope, can't do that. Nope. We'll send our men to soften him up. Attack is the best form of defence after all. Place one spent worker token in the supply. And add seven, card 72. Or we have bigger problems. De deceivers like him must be ignored. Once people see him for what he is, their attention will fail elsewhere. Fall elsewhere. Add 73. So... Do we want to use a spent worker, which I assume is an average card? It means we lose uh, a meeple. For a, the next a lose game. a meeple for this next game. And I assume that seventy-three will be a worse really card. Yeah. We do have technically one extra worker than we've got. Uh, gathering post and gather. We're going to get forward next time. So now it says, yeah, we might need to consider enacting the radical treatment law. Yes, could say. Uh, I don't think we have that. No, we don't have that law. Uh, it's because the sickness is getting a bit out of control, and we've no it? medical post or infirmary. So we need to build. A... People are going to start dying quite well. Yeah, we're going to lose two people this turn. Okay, so we need a medical. I've just noticed Kyle's in the chat. Kyle has apparently beaten the game, but I think he was cheated. Oh, okay. Well, only because I think the game's impossible. <laughs> I'm joking. But no, Kyle has actually beaten and won this scenario. Okay. What do you think? Lose a worker for this turn? Yeah. So what happens is you get a spent worker token, which are those circular discs. Oh, okay. Yeah, and you just pop it there. And put a man on it. And then you will put a man on it at a certain point in the thing. Right. Okay. Yeah. D72 then. That's yours. Oh, they're over here. Yeah, yeah. 72. D72. Oh, it's right at the end. Literally. Right. Generator phase. So we don't have any coal, so we can't fuel the generator. So we gain one sick citizen of each type. Mm. So another sick kid, sick engineer, sick worker. Um, then we drop coal into the top of the generator. So three coal are going in. Oh. Three coal came out. Took three tries, Carl say Carl says. Okay. Right, but yeah, the only advice I can give is you You have to be a little ruthless. Yeah, we're being a bit too nicey nice. Uh 
Done that. Check for generator breakdown. Reset the heat marker. Done. Weather phase. One, 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 and one. Ugh. Gain one food for each mapped pile, so we gain four food. Yeah. One food per hunter symbol. So two, two more. more. Scout moves four. Ooh, two, three, four. Storm doesn't move towards us. Right. Preparation phase. So, <clears throat> do we want to exhaust the care to cure two? Yeah. Because it kills off one less, doesn't it? Well, it means we get one less spent worker token. The engineer's still going to die. Can't do anything about that. But yeah, I think we do. So we take the blue one back or the... Um, it doesn't really matter. Well... I think we move the blue one back too. Yeah. Yeah. Resolve sickness markers. So that engineer flips over. He flips. Dies, he which means it moves to the left. And yeah. an engineer moves to the left. Sorry, no. Sorry, oh. I know. Yeah, that's right. But the engineer moves one to the left. Because an engineer died. No, and, and that one as well. When somebody dies, both of them move to the left. So, so we gain a corpse, and now we can have a random card from the top of the deck. Did that person die last time? So we yeah. want three corpses. Three corpses, because we started with one. Yeah. So what are we losing? A blue one. Yeah. Minus so we can we can have a random card from the top of the deck. Minus one hope. Activate hunger. Minus one hope. Well, that that's worse than we, that. We we wouldn't choose that. No. Well, that's quite good, isn't it? Later on. I think that might be quite late. So, a random one from the deck. I'm Off we go. I'm going to cut there. Exhaust motivation. We can't exhaust motivation. Minus one hope. Where's all of our hope gone? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Right. Action phase. So, at this point, we check the number of meeples. Six workers, three engineers, three kids. Yep. Is that right? Yep. And then Six. we put, yes, there's ones there. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And then we put right. one of those That's on what, there. That's we don't have that for this round. Right. Right, actions. So, we need we need to sort out this medical What's happening here? issue. No, yes, we do. Okay, well, gathering post, definitely. How much food do we need this round? Engineers. We're actually okay for food. 13. Okay. And we've got nine with no hunger. So food is food is okay. So if we go here. Yeah. So if we go back to gathering post, which means... two food. So it's heated. Because that's our law. Sure. Yep. Okay. So Give him a hot meal. One, more. So one from there, one from there, one from there, one from there. Right. Okay. Nice bit of early gathering. We need a hospital. We've got the sawmill. We need to upgrade the sawmill in order to start chopping those trees down. So what um right, so un unupgraded is its own space, upgraded is Correct. No. Okay. Yeah. So that's something we definitely want to do this no. turn. Well that's red as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's so... red. Oh and it, yeah, it's not mm, no, we're still not. Red is still cold. Oh <laughs> yeah. Everywhere is cold now until we spend loads of coal. But we are so short on coal. Yeah. We can't get here. Seriously short on coal. Uh, the worker that. sickness marker happens as well. We did. We Yeah, we flipped over that. So one of the workers is now gravely ill. Oh, and... Did we get another spent... Hang on. So we did the engineer. Yeah. The engineer flipped and died. died yeah. The worker flipped, but we also should have another spent worker citizen token. So we've lost a second worker for this turn. There you go. Right. So he's just going to go... Yeah, suggestion is, before we do that, we do another explore. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we can do that retrospectively, can't okay. we? Okay, so... We're happy with another explore? Yep. Send a worker? Or an engineer? I think send a worker. And we'll explore well, here. He, he's sick, or are we spending two more food? Painful, isn't it? I think spend two more food. Yeah, what do we need? 12 food. Uh, 13. Okay, well, that's 13 okay, engineers. 
the hot house will go back up to seven yeah. at okay. the moment when it's so, so spend two more. Whenever you perform an action with a citizen meeple, spend two foods, count that action as eating. Here? Yep. Three trees. What three trees? Two coal. Okay, so one of which we gain. Yeah. Because we've one used there, the gathering post. We'll just put in three coal in now. Do. Three coal means the red building is heated. Okay. We'll need to do that, don't we? Because we're going to do the workshop next. Yeah. So three coal puts the heating marker here. Right. Engineering the workshop. Upgrade. What did you say? Upgrade, upgrade. the sawmill. So that costs. Um, Steam coal? Cost of wood. And advance with the other one. Because we've got two actions, haven't we? Is there anything else we wanted to upgrade? You can't upgrade a tent. Upgrade the beacon. And then we've got to, as um, somebody suggested a moment ago, we can send somebody else on the expedition and then it's Upgrading less. the beacon costs a steam core. And then we can send out another one on an expedition. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we spend a steam core. We upgrade the beacon. Now we've got to use the sawmill, yeah? Uh, yep, okay, so we use the sawmill, which is red, which is fine. What laws are available? Available laws, there are crowded quarters, makeshift shelters, starvation rations, extended shift, fighting arena, time to rest, new faith and new order. Not sure we're in the right place for any of those yet. Crowded quarters, maybe, but... It's going to make people angry. So yeah, so pop that on the sawmill, which is red. So it's heated. Yeah. Uh, what does this do? Remove an adjacent tree. Gain three wood. Would have been four if we had that, but that's fine. Wood. Hospital. Another tent. It's not great. The tents are going to get smashed to pieces. I, I think I don't. Yeah, I think another tent at this point is possibly not worth it. Or gather, and then you can go bunkhouse and medical post. Uh, send somebody on a send second person on an expedition. Definitely. What have we got left? Two people. Two engineers. We could have done that. Couldn't we? Yeah, let's do that. Can't send on the same one. So there's people at the end of that one. Oh, I see. We don't know what's at the end of that one. We don't know what's at the end of that uh, one. Right, but if we don't these. want extra people, yeah, then I would suggest not that one. This is a really short one. Yeah. So we're gonna do that next turn. Right. That one will depend whether the card is a four. The card, the movement is always two to four. I'm assuming because it's further, it's generally better. I I, I think so. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess. But if we want them to find something and we come back, that's a definite. That's a, that's. And I, that's a, I think that's a sixty-six percent chance. Yeah, I assume in the two threes and fours are evenly distributed. If we assume that, we've had a two, two threes and a four. We've had a two, two threes and a four. Yeah, we've had. I think that one. No. So that's that's our two deploy scouts actions. And this is build. Two for a medical post, yeah. Two for a medical post, which is yellow. Are we doing... Can go there. Well, we can't use it this turn, can we? Oh, medical post. These came out quite nice as well. Oh, nice. I'm assuming that doesn't mean revive from it's the dead. It's <laughs> treat. This is, the, this is the medical post. If it's going to focus, is it going to focus? Yeah, so these came out quite nice. Uh, that's treat, which means flip it from its skull side to its syringe side oh, nice. without it dying. So yeah, we can pop the medical post there. Are we... We've still got two more wood, or do we want to keep it? What are we looking to build? We want to try and get coal and yeah. um, wood, but... How we're getting there, I'm not. We're always saying we haven't got enough wood. We are. So do we want to keep it for next time and then look at building a house, maybe? Or a bunkhouse? Mm -hmm. 
We could keep it to next time, or we could build a second medical post. I know you said it's very. It feels. <clears throat> it feels bad to only use one build action when you've got three. It does. But was there anything we wanted to dismantle while we were doing it? I don't think there is. There are gathering posts there that's not doing anything. No, that's. Uh... It, it might do something. Oh, it's a gathering post. It, it might if there's something there. So we'll, we'll see, save it for now. Do we have the emergency shift law? We don't. I don't think. Yeah, we do. We do extended shift, but it, it requires you to exhaust motivation, and we can't. Yeah. You may exhaust motivation to reuse a building. We don't have motivation, so. What are you saying then? Bit on the wood. Yeah, I don't really want to build another tent at this point. And apart from that, it's another medical place, another hunter's hut, another gathering post. Charcoal. Yeah, Carl's suggesting we work towards automatons. Yeah, we thought about that three hours ago yeah. <laughs> when we first started. And then we we quickly went against it when we realised we needed the steam course for other things. I think save it. Okay. It's starting to spiral a bit out of control now. Right, dusk phase effects. Up we go, give a shuffle. How many we got? We have five before, now we got six. six. Pick a number from one to six. They picked a really good one last time. Two again. Number two. That one. All right, what we got? I mean, we need to be seeing some of the positive effects of those. Dusk. Knowledge is power. This is one of the ones that we put in. Okay. So um, our people have studied the books, so these are the, oh, ones the books that we didn't throw away. The Marvel comic collection. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The knowledge that they contain will help us greatly. If all technologies have been developed, nope. upgrade, a, upgrade a building for free, even if that building has been used this round. If there is a development token on the round track, there is. Move that development token two spaces backwards on the round track. That's one of the options. Or okay. Oh, right. Otherwise, remove this card from the game. Okay. So, so basically, we get two free steps for development. And that's um, gone. That's, uh, yes. Yep. <laughs> right. Nice. Dusk. Hunger phase. We have no hunger. We now need to feed the Sugar. citizens. Sugar. We need to feed. Sugar. We didn't go to the hot house. Well, that's fine. Never mind. Never mind. We need to feed the engineers. 13 engineers. We've only got five food, so we get eight hunger. Yeah, so next round we need 29, 37 food. Yeah. Night phase. Okay. Right. When do these come back? No. They come back now, do they? Yeah. Right. Uh, is that everybody? I think so. Mm -hmm. Right. So, homes. Um, ah. Ah. We're screwed. <laughs> We're completely screwed. Because <laughs> we've got no charcoal. No coal. We two got, green. We, we, we got a problem. The, the child shelter is not heated. Two green, two blue. Yeah, everybody's cold. And one... No. Oh. Orange. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, propaganda centre. Um. Use that. Oh, yeah. I'll be doing two and two, so it's two. Well, no, everybody's cold. Yeah. Oh, what? So the tents don't work either. No, the tents don't work. So we've done that, and then we've we've got to do another three. And oh, three yeah, we shouldn't have done that yet. Oh, I've done that. Right, what yet. I've just done. Right, sorry. One, two. It's two green, two blue, and an orange. So basically, all of these, there's nowhere hot for them to sleep. Even the chip, right? Yeah. Well, nobody think of the the children. only thing that's heated. Two, three children. Is the workshop. One, two, three. And the sawmill. One, mill. two, three, four. Oh dear. Right. Oops. Is it too soon for everybody's dead, Dave? Right. <laughs> the next day. Pretty good, Peter. <laughs> round marker. Yeah. Round six. Not got beyond round six. Criticising the leaders. A man climbed the platform and started shouting. He criticised the state of society, undermining our decisions as leaders. Many of those listening to him nodded their heads in silent agreement. How should we react? So if we have active justice, we could choose option one. We can't. Uh, option two, actions are worth more than words. Let us show our people that we care about them by giving them double rations, plus one care, and increase hunger by one 
for each worker and engineer meeple in the supply. In the supply? Which is here. Oh, right, okay. Or, option three, a seed has been planted. To root it out, we need to face the accusations. Face that man in a public debate. Plus one discontent and add card D52 to the dusk deck. I'm thinking option two. Okay. Because when it says plus one care, mm -hmm. this is a part of the game which is a little weird to understand. What it means is draw a token out of the bag, put it on there, and then if there is a care, activate it. We have care. Oh. And so we're going we we, to get one of these and we're going to activate the care. And then we can cure mm. a bit. So I think option two. So we're going to show the people that we care by giving them double rations. So we get a random card, a random hope, and then we activate care. Mark, hello. We're, we're doing badly. We're doing badly. <laughs> and but no, we, we haven't got child labour. We're trying we to gain seven it. hunger. Oh, that's all right. It's only 15 and we only need now four million food. <laughs> Generator phase. Now they get six. So two engineers, right. two kids... Two. Uh, one, two. Yeah. So the so the number of sick cannot ever go above the number of things. So we've got thirteen engineers. Uh, oh. Every single one of them <laughs> sick. Oops. Uh, right. Coal into the generator. Three they're gonna, cubes. They're going to go on strike. Get one more cube. Yep. That's all three. All three. Okay. We need to sort that out this turn as well. I sorted out last turn. Well. When you went for food, that was the turn before, I think. Uh, check for generator breakdown, reset the heat marker. Right, weather phase. Oh, excuse me. So we get some food for that. Four. So that moves one, that moves one, that moves one. We get one food per hunter's hut symbol. One, two. Three spaces. Oh, one, two, and one, two. And the storm marker moves one. So we've got these two to resolve the storm's then, about to hit. Yeah. So. And I want to get this bit right, because this is also quite detailed in how it works. Expeditions. Expedition movement. When a scout reaches the last space of its expedition track, players choose whether they want to skip the location or explore it. So you could skip it and just carry on, at which point we would go to a B card. And any movement points we had remaining oh, right. will carry on. And these are better, I assume. Aren't I think they? so. So for this one here, yeah. we've got one movement point left. If we choose to skip this location, yeah. we take the top B card, we overlay it onto there, and then we move one space. Okay. That is one option. Well, or that's, that's counseling people. That's people. And yeah. We don't really need, we don't need more people. No. Although more people give us more meeples, at the moment I think we're struggling. Yeah. yeah. Um so the other option is that we choose to explore the location. So what we do is we place the scout beside the topmost expedition card in the expedition stack. Yeah, it's fine. And then we flip the card over to the other side. Is that what we're doing? Yeah, yeah. and we read the flavour. Black Gold Rush. When the temperatures drop to an unimaginable level, even underground waters froze over time, creating deep but narrow cracks. We stumbled upon a particularly curious one. It must have been a bog before it froze. We noticed some gigantic bones sticking out of a mass of frozen earth and a black shiny block. It was coal! Ooh. Lowering my comrade into the seemingly endless void, I wondered if anyone would ever find our bones if we both fell. We must get some rest. What so we got, we got two options here. The, okay. the yellow arrow means return to the city. Right. So we can return to the city. We gain the three coal, yep. which is awesome. Yep. Or we continue the expedition. Focus and push forward. And we will gain that three goal when we eventually finish. So I, I think we just do that. I think we come back. Yeah. But that, that, that says goal. three go gain three coal, but you don't get that immediately until no, they don't. come back from Correct. the expedition. Yeah, you put the three coal on the card yeah, and then you should. get it. Yeah. So if we're choosing to return to the city, yeah. then that scout comes back. We resolve the effect of the chosen option. Uh, resolve the effect of the continue option on any other cards. There weren't any other cards. And then it says, nope, oh yeah, no, nope, because uh, it's B. So what happens is that stays there. Right. And a B card oh, okay. now goes over the top because B is further away. But it doesn't have to be the same like snow. No. It's just the next one. Yeah. So basically you've done that one and then you go on to the next one. But do you still have to go through... One, two, no, no, no. three. No, because that goes there. 
So it's two space. It's one yeah. extra space, right? Yeah. Okay. And then we got this. And then we got that one. Exciting. Mm. Right. Okay. It's actually, in the scenario. We oh, flip, we, we flip, flip it, it over. over. Sorry. Yeah. I thought you were reading it from the book. I don't know. No, why. no, no. <coughs> Winter home. After a long and exhausting march, our scouts come back with news about Winterhome. They climbed up to the edge of the city. They stood there speechless, staring at the scene of utter destruction. Most of the buildings were destroyed and the generator had exploded. It's exploded. Our people found some resources that weren't entirely covered by snow in this city of the dead. The recovered city chronicle describes the shortage of food and citizens increasing despair, the squabbles, riots and descent into anarchy. Fights were dwindling resources and the final moments of starvation. The last entry says, God forgive us, we are eating our dead. There is no hope. Nice. SO3 has not been revealed. If SO3 has not been revealed. SO3, I believe, has not been revealed. It has not been revealed. Place SO7 face up in this scenario display. Right. SO7 is... Prepare for the storm. Okay. If it is round seven or earlier... It is. Gain one steam core, three wood and four coal. If we come home. If we come. Otherwise, gain two wood and coal. I think we come home automatically. There's not an option. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Come home if it's round seven or earlier. Right. You Got come, it. Yeah, come home. If it's round seven, we get that. If it's Otherwise, otherwise we, get we that. don't get as much. Right. Okay. Okay. So we get one steam one core. One steam core. Three wood. Nice. And four coal. Well, that's changed things. Helpful. And notice that Kanye Studios is in the uh, in the chat. Thank you for watching. Did a did a playthrough of this himself. Oh, okay. Did you win? I don't think so. No. <laughs> Have you so, played it again since? That's my that's question. question. Right. So that's gone. Yep. Now S zero seven is prepare for the storm. Winter home fell during the storm. We must prepare or share their fate. The severity of the storm might forbid us from venturing outside. Stockpiles must be made. So this is a special action. So once per round, we can perform the special action on this card with either an engineer or a worker. Mm -hmm. Each time you perform this action, spend an amount of food and or coal and place the corresponding stockpile markers, which are in the box, okay. on this card to track food rations for every three food spent and coal stock for every two coal spent. So basically we're stockpiling for the to prepare for the coming storm. So that is an active card in our, what's called, I think, event display. And I'm assuming when the storm hits, if we haven't stockpiled, it I gets guess. really I bad. Guess it's bad. <laughs> Although it's not. So that's that's a new action that we can do. What's the stockpile? They're green. Is they're like, those? no, they're bright green. Oh, these? Those, yeah. So we'll need those at some point. They played three times and lost each play. Yep, that's that's normal. <laughs> that's normal. What I'm going to do, I'm going to have a... You're going to have a quick, quick break? Could have, yeah, have a break right, Ben's going to disappear, get some moment. food and stuff. And um... Do you want anything to bring in the back? No, I'm good. I'm good. Right, okay. Raphael's in the chat. Thank you for joining. Yeah, infirmary is what I'm thinking about. Uh, so that one comes home as well. We've done with the expeditions. And we've moved the storm marker. Unfortunately, the storm has now hit. Uh, so... <laughs> While Ben's gone, the storm's hit. If it's round seven or earlier, which it is, go to one. We're hit by heavy snowfall. So the tents, they are now ruins. So we can get rid of those. Um, and these are ruins as well. Place the storm marker on round 12. Um, and that's it. Right, so we've lost the tents. Preparation phase. Now, we could do the health advisor thing. I mean, oh dear. This is all going to go badly, badly wrong now. I think we need to. I think we need to exhaust that care um, in order to cure two with the health advisor. So what are we going to cure? I think we need to cure both of those engineers. Right, now we resolve thickness marker effects. So unfortunately, this sick child, they are now gravely ill. Uh, the engineer is now gravely ill and we get a spent engineer token. Um, and then the worker, unfortunately, uh, flips over. Oh, it's two flips. 
Oh, okay, sorry, I didn't see that. So I would have cured one of those instead. Uh, so it's one flip, spent worker token, and the worker dies. So that goes back, that goes back, get another corpse, and we get a random card. Activate greed, can't do that, minus one hope. Okay, we'll lose the motivation. Oh dear. Don't forget about the stockpile card. Yes, I mean I've never got this far before, to be honest. So this is this is already a success. As far as I'm concerned, this is a win. Because I've got um Yeah. I've got further than I've done before. But it's all looking pretty bad. We've got four people dead. Um we've got loads of sick people. We need to sort this sickness out. I mean, I thought having the health advisor would would do it, but needed an earlier medical post, I think. And coal. We got loads of stuff. So that's good. Right, action phase. So we should have six, one, two, three, four, five, six, correct. Uh, three engineers is correct. Three children is correct. But we lose an engineer and we lose a worker. Now, we could send people out on expeditions if we wanted to. But, now, if we were to use the workshop, we could develop that technology so that we get one extra wood from the sawmill. We could. I, I don't know if it's worth it. Um, but I'm definitely spending three coal to put that up to there. So at least red buildings are uh, usable, which means we can then use the sawmill to chop down this tree to gain three more wood. So suddenly, suddenly we have lots of wood, but we're gonna need to build some big buildings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight. Eight, eight, nice. The new order law. Yeah, is it time? What <laughs> while Ben's away? New order law. Propaganda center, agitator, prison. Exhaust one discontent of each type when it comes in. So we're not going to get the real benefits of it. We could do crowded quarters. Or we could do makeshift shelter. So makeshift shelter says each of your ruins counts as a shelter. And if heated, it provides one sleeping slot. So we can actually sleep in the ruins if we bring in makeshift shelters. I don't know whether that's worth it. The crowded quarters I quite like. Okay, so the new order law is good because it allows you to build the snow pits, which are free, and the snow pits reduce the corpses. You think? Let's just check. Let's see what the snow pits do. I'm, I'm assuming that's what they do. When built, move the corpse marker backwards one to three spaces. So you can actually lose three corpses, although we're not in danger of dying through uh, excessive death at the moment. So, what's the plan? We've spent the three coal, we've used the sawmill, we've got the wood. Do we have the citizen card that allows us to overbuild ruins? We do not. We have this one. We've got to use this one. Uh, it is send an engineer to the generator building and play Derek Algier. Thank you, Derek. Remove up to S eight stress cubes from the stress track. That's that done. All gone. Right, sorted. We want to use the gathering post, but we need to heat it a bit more. 
So I think it's going to be another... Oh, wow. Yeah, one, two, three, four coal. I mean, that's what the coal's for. So one, two, three, four coal to fuel the generator up to here. And now we can use this one on the gathering post, which is now heated because of that, to get this, 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 and this. Now, before doing that, did we want to explore here? Because if we did, that gathering post would be even better. I'm not sure we do. Mm, no. I'm thinking not. Oh, we, we need to sort the hot house out. The hot house is now heated. So, yeah, we're not going to explore. That's fine. We're going to double use the hot house, which is orange. So that's fine. And that's 14 food. Put this up to 20. So that's the hunger sorted from last round. Except we need 28 food for this round. So that's a real problem. Do we want to send anybody on an expedition? I mean, expeditions are good. And we want to build as well. Yeah. Definitely want to build. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got nine wood. Now, the bunk houses only cost three wood. So that could be three bunk houses on the board. Oh, the charcoal kiln. Yeah, that's that's an option as well. Um, yeah, charcoal kiln is one wood for four coal. Because, yeah, suddenly we're all out of coal, which means everybody's going to get sick next round. Um, the problem with building the bunk houses is I know when the storm hits for a second time, um, then bunk houses are removed as well. <laughs> so yeah, when the second storm hits, the bunk houses go. They become ruins. So I'm I'm tempted not to build the bunk houses, even though I've painted three of them and they look really nice. Let me just show you the uh, let me just show you the bunk houses. So yeah, these are these have come out really nice. Uh, yeah, each one of these is taking me about three or four hours to paint. Uh, and I've done three of the bunk houses, and I might not use them. So the other option was the charcoal kiln. So it, it could be it could be two houses and a charcoal kiln. Because we've we've got the wood. Hmm. Yeah, I mean that. We're going to run out of wood in the next couple of turns, so we are going to need to build the wall drill up there at some point. Oh, this is so tricky. Get less food this round? No, because we, we, we need 15 just for the hunger. I think it's going to be two houses. Now, these are red, so we can build these quite far out. Like one over there and one over here. Uh, and I have painted, I've painted one of the houses. <laughs> um, so there's one of the houses. The other houses are not quite finished being painted yet. Um, so we've built two houses. That cost eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Leaving one wood. So what we're we going to do with the wood? We're going to save it. I think save it. And I will use the last action to... Oh, you can't dismantle the ruins. They've got the icon on. They've got the hammer icon. No, that just means you can't build... Oh, hang on. What does that icon mean? I can't remember. Uh... Right.
right that with an x means it cannot be upgraded it does say somewhere in the rule book what the red hammer means red hammer um no can't build it right okay so you cannot you can dismantle it i think that's what we need to do is i think we need to dismantle that tent and get it out of the way thank you chap yeah right and then we got this one so we could there's a gathering post up there which is not actually much use at all uh, I, mean, I could swap those over could use the workshop Hmm. If we use the workshop, interesting. I I might have been able to do this in a different order. What's my other option with this? Is is yeah, go on an expedition. I think we're going to go on an expedition. We'll go on an expedition. <sighs> yeah, we have no tents now. Tents. I think that's what we're doing. Oh, this is agonizing. Yeah, I think that's it. I think we're going on an expedition, which is not, which is counted as always heated. So I think that's it for my actions. No, hang on a minute. We've got the medical post. Sorry. Medical post. Got to use the medical post. Cure three. Right. So... This is all bad. Kids are about to die. Oh, yeah. This is painful. This is painful. Oh. Hmm. Yep. Probably got a couple of rounds left. Ben's got to leave at about four o'clock, so I think I think we're going to be done before that. The sickness has all spiralled out of control again. Yeah, can't let the kids die because that loses two hope. Game over. I think we might be in a bit of trouble. I'm just trying to think if there's anything we could have done otherwise. I mean, we definitely need to build the houses because otherwise more and more people are going to get sick. But that's all of the wood gone. And we're generating so, so little wood. Yeah. We are definitely not going to win this. So who are we going to, who are we going to cure? One, two, three. It's not, it's not going to be enough, but we'll cure three of the sick kids. Right, dusk phase. Okay, pick a number. One to five. Pick a number from one to five for the dusk card. Number four. One, two, three, four. I mean, even we've chosen some of the good options. These cards have been all right for us. The inevitable. Okay, Ben's going to come upstairs and it's going to be game over. Flip every sickness marker on its school side to its syringe side. So, the kid dies. Uh, an engineer dies. So that goes down one, that goes down one, that goes down one, that goes down one. Uh, and then for each corpse you have, gain one sick citizen. So we're about to gain four. But actually we've got to deal with a, a, a kid dying and an engineer dying, which is game over. Because we lose the hope. <laughs> and that's it. We, we are finished. It did all spiral out of control, didn't it? Just yeah, finished. we've just died. Oh. <laughs> I mean, we were probably only going to last till the start of the next round because the sickness was out of control. 
the inevitable card came out, oh, which, right. which flipped the child over. So a child died and an engineer died, which is at least a loss of two hope. Well, it's at least a loss of three hope. We don't have enough hope. Oh, and that's game over. That's game over. If all the hope goes, game over. Well, we got to round six. Oh. Eighth. Well, I left you alone for five minutes. I know. <laughs> <laughs> the food was nice. Good. There was that chicken casserole from yeah, last night. Yeah, very much. It's a great game, though. You like it? Oh, yeah, definitely. So I'm it, so happy I've got it back there. It is possible. You, you, you can win the game and you can do better. I'm not very good at the game. So a lot of people think, oh, because I wrote the rules and everything else, that I'm really good at games. No, I'm not very good at this game at all. Uh, and there's definitely... Thanks, Peter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I would have. So I built two houses. Oh, okay. I, I was setting ourselves up for... Because we had loads of wood. Yes. So I thought, quick, build the two houses. Right. Then realising, hang on a minute, how are we getting more wood? Yeah. And we need to build the wall drill at some point. And because that contained loads of trees... Yeah, that, that really... Should have just built the wall it? drill there. But... And then spent all the coal to get the heating up. So this was fine. Right. Yeah. But then next turn, we wouldn't have had much coal. Flip this out. But then that came out and... So realistically, we, we, we kind of sorted food. Food didn't become too much of an issue. Food, food was this okay. Was all right. That was okay, but then we, we just started just, losing it. Yeah. So looking back, it might probably be a better idea to go for the wood processing technology first. Right. To get the extra wood from that. But next time you play, it's going to be four different technologies and four different laws. Because we actually we went food here, we went, food here, we food went here. Food, we probably yeah. went too heavy on food. Yeah. Hmm. But there's there's so many different options that you can take in the game, and there's so many different approaches. But every game I've played so far, it's been the sickness that's been the problem. And how many scenarios are there? So the the base game scenario, which is called a new home, there are six different setups for it. Oh wow! Okay. So the scenario is new home. Yep. But you can play with this map, which is called Crater. Um, you can play with Frozen Grove, mm -hmm. which uses some extra components and some extra stuff, a different map setup. You can play with Crags, uh, which is an already set up map, but with some places that are unusable. You can play with the Flats. So instead of you being in a crater, it's just open terrain and there's loads of resources around. You can play with the Dreadnought, where there's a massive big old train thing that's there. Mm -hmm. um, or you can play with Canyon, with a different style of map. So that's the same scenario. Oh, are, right, yep. actually these are in modular. Yeah. Same scenario, but with different setups. <coughs> then there is the Arcs, which is a very cool thematic scenario in that the only plants left on the planet are these seedlings in these buildings, and you've got to keep the buildings heated. If any of the buildings ever is not heated, you lose the game. So you've basically got to keep the seedlings alive through the storm. Um, then there is the Fall of Winter Home, which I don't know much about that one, but that's a new scenario. And then there's the Ruins of Tesla City, which is another completely different scenario. Um, so yeah, lots of different scenarios, but even the base game is massively replayable. Yeah, absolutely. Because different laws, different technologies, even just the map layout at the start of the game and where these are yeah, yeah. and what you've got will lead you down different different avenues of, of what to do. And of course the inevitable expansion, I would assume. I don't know. I mean, there's the Frostlander mini expansion, right, which okay. you've probably got if you okay. late pledged. So yep. there's a Frostlander expansion, which gives a few more cards, a few more of those. It's like a mini expansion, but the yep. Frostlander expansion gives you these nice, nice, big, thick wooden pieces instead of the cardboard tokens. Right. Um, but in terms of an actual expansion for the game, no. I, I, I mean, it, never say never. No. Well, they might do, you know, more technologies and different cards. And possibly. Maybe I mean, you can certainly cards. do morning cards and dusk cards. Yeah. You could certainly do that. But in terms of technologies, once you've got all elements of the game covered, and a lot of this is taken from the computer game as well. Okay. So they've pretty much explored um, most of it. But your initial thoughts are positive? Oh, yeah, definitely. You'll, you'll be playing this in the wee hours of the, of the morning, won't you? Yeah, it's a good puzzle, isn't it? So next time you play, what, what's your plan? Well, 
<clears throat> I don't remember the downside to enacting the child labour. So because although although we were kind to them, and I guess you know we didn't get any bad cards come out, we had the one where they managed to cure a couple of people. Yeah, and that will come out again. But that was about it. Yeah. So did we? You know, did that outweigh two extra actions every every turn? And it's when it's tricky. When I watched your playthrough, you, you were using these to gather resources quite a lot. Yeah. And we were well, no, we weren't wasting hours, but you know, we only got one technology. Probably not great. No. Um, We're about to get the second one. Yeah, close. But again, these will be different next time you play. So this is as far as I've ever got. I've never got to exploring Winter Home. I've never got to this. But the next big thing for, that I want to achieve is I want to build the coal mine or the wall drill. Yeah. I've still not done that in no. a game yet. But I think that's something that you need to be... Did you get hit by the storm last time? I got hit by the first storm. Right. So we, lo we lost the tents. Um, I've not been hit by the second storm. But that's and even that we didn't we didn't stop by anything no because no we just didn't get so this this is yeah you need to start going on here you need to be spending food spending coal and you need to be putting markers on here and then I think when the storm hits so that's the second storm ah that's it eleven when it gets to round eleven uh, round eleven yeah right mm. uh, you then place S zero four face up in the scenario display. If S07 has not been revealed, put S03. So S04 happens, which is you've got to survive the storm. So then basically you've got one round, so on the, the marker moves to round 12. And then on round 12, instead of playing a normal round, you resolve this card. Right. And you've got to survive it, and you've got to spend based on your food rations and your coal stock. And if you survive the storm, you're victorious. So that's... That's how you win this scenario is, you know, you explore Winter Home. You've, you've got to get to Winter Home because that tells you then what's coming. Uh, you then start stockpiling the resources and then you've basically got a few rounds to prepare. And then when the storm hits or the big storm hits, then you survive it. So there's actually three storms in the game. There's the one that <clears throat> first hits and destroys the tents. The second one that hits and destroys the Brunk houses, and then the third one is is the final one. Stewie says that the coal thumper and the gathering post can be very effective. So yeah, one of the buildings we didn't see was the coal thumper. And if you just have a look at that, what that does, not in here. It's in here. So yeah, I was just about to say I think coal is very in, yeah very because without the coal you can't then. heat. No. Yeah. So the coal thumper allows you to place up to three coal from the bank on each of up to three different adjacent spaces. So you put nine coal in total. You've still got to gather it. On the it? spaces. Um, you've got to gather it. But basically that generates coal. I did notice on your other playthrough there was, a, there was something you enacted where you could gain three resources each time instead of two as well. So a combination of those. Right. That was either a law or it was a yeah. technology. Yeah, one I can't remember which. That, that would make that more effective. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was just settling in for a long stream and then a spiral of doom exploded. Yeah. I nipped down for some food. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. Came back. Popped out for five minutes and uh, and and was done. But yeah, we're, we're done. So just before we disappear, uh, as I mentioned at the start, this is not a sponsored stream. This is just me and Ben playing through the game. But thank you very much to all of my patron supporters for funding, for funding the channel. Uh, and also it's my patron supporters that voted on this and Hopla Marcus Victorum were the two solo games that I'm going to be playing through this month. I'd love to do more if I can, but definitely going to do these two. Uh, all advertising revenue from this video goes to charity, and I'm only able to do that thanks to the support of the Patreon. So yeah, if you want to support the channel and help me carry on making more videos, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. That's it for this week. I will be back next week with a few videos. Um, I've got a top 10 games of 2022 video, which is planned to be recorded on Wednesday with Devon Norris. Uh, I've got the how to play videos for Frosthaven that should be going live this coming week. And then on Friday, I'm going to be playing through a solo game of Aleph Null, which is a little card game, which is up there that should take about half an hour, and Hopla Marker's Victorum. That's on the Friday. And then it's Christmas. I mean, I've got a few videos to do between Christmas and New Year, but I won't be doing anything on Christmas Day or Boxing Day. Um, but yeah, we're all done. Thank you very much, Ben, for joining me. Thank you. Thank you to everybody nice for watching. Me. As I say, give the video a like, leave me a comment if you enjoyed it, all of that usual stuff. Uh, 
and take care. Thanks for watching. Bye we'll see all. you next time. Bye. Bye.